is the Chief and Sean Show, and we are live in the 405. We're not live, but we are back. We're live. No, we're not. We are back. And we're live. Weekly, not live. We're sort of live. Okay, to uh, everyone listening, or, well... The, well, the, the people who are listening. The few the that few. listen, here's the deal. <laughs> Speed Society is going to be hosting all of these podcasts. You're going to be seeing a ton from these guys. I, like, they're... Yeah. How big are they, Sean? Uh, it's the biggest automotive website in the world, and, I mean, they got a lot of cool shit. Yeah, we're stoked to be working with guys like that, for sure. Anytime we can align ourselves with other huge automotive people, this is perfect. So Also... Stop listening now and go and like it and comment on it. And the sooner you do that, hopefully the more podcast episodes you'll hear. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the Crow 405, Murder Nova, Midway Street Cars. Like it, comment on us. Tell us who you are. Tell us why you listen to it. Keep this going, please. There are people that are, don't want this to keep going. Yeah, there's going. people right now trying to make, trying to put an end to this. They, they so, don't want us on the air. And we got guys like Speed Society that want to help us keep it going. So Welcoming us. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Help everybody out. And while you're there, check it out. Their website's awesome. <clears throat> and we're back. And we're back. And it's Tuesday. Welcome back. It's Tuesday. Just like we said it was going to be. Yep, Tuesday. Just like we promised. Just like we promised. Tuesday. You wanted it. You got it's it. Tu- it's, it's podcast Tuesday. Tuesday. Why wouldn't we be in here? Yeah. Yep. Um, as always, we have Sean sitting here beside me, not paying attention no, I'm to paying the podcast attention to on this Tuesday. Right and see, no one can see what the hell you're talking about. No. So, you saw it. Yeah. Draw well, them a picture. Um, we have... We have uh, a special guest today. Special we have, guest. We have Dominator. What's happening? Joe Woods. <laughs> yeah. Our good buddy Dominator. He's in the, the mess shack with us today. Um, remember, MidwayStreetCars.com. Check it out for all the merchandise. We had new stuff all the time. We have the little cars. We have the awesome shirts, the hats, all the cool stuff. Koozies, keychains, bracelets. And we got... Yeah, Sundays. We, we got, you know, we got mean, shit going we got on. All. We got shit going on. We're almost legit. Yep. We got... We're adding package deals that says here. Package. We are? Yes. Come yeah, get, murders. Go get go get your 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 big chief package <laughs> at the streetcars dot com. Uh social media. Oh, I'm not supposed to read that part. Um yes. you, got, you got notes over there? Yeah. You know, our, Phantom, our Phantom producer made notes for Phantom you? made notes. I guess I'm not doing keep, good keep enough. Keep you on job. track? Yes. Um We do it every week. So Every Tuesday, anyway. Every Tuesday, we only do it on Tuesday. Same stuff. We so. only do it on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, we, we should be. We know what we're doing by now. Um, remember, we're uh, constantly getting broker and uh, spending money on these cars to outrun people. That you know, it's the old saying: spending money that we don't have on cars that we don't give a shit about to outrun people that we don't even like. Yes, that's what we do every day, just like you guys, just like everybody that listens to this fucking thing. So every fucking day that's what every day that's what we do and we and it, it's a lot of money to outrun these guys so and the guys that we're out running are doing the same thing so the money is getting more and more expensive so please help us out it's a lot of money and i'm still way behind <laughs> help us out buy something <laughs> go buy something go buy something for a loved one uh if you want to find us on social media you look at looking <clears throat> for the crow facebook page murder nova facebook page midwest street cars facebook page um we got Instagrams, Midwest Street Cars Media. We got, we got all the social medias. We social media. If you go to our website, you could probably find all our social media from the website when you're buying something to support our habit. Yes. So there. Ha ha ha. Um, Did we mention we love you, Dominator? That's how do they lot find of- you? Facebook page, Dominator, and then there's That's it? A, just Dominator. Just Dominator. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Okay. Not and the then Dominator, there's, nothing weird, or no, Dominator 405, not the, not just Dominator. Actually, the website is Dominator 405 Racing. Dominator 405 Racing. Go there's check them out. There's a shop now right underneath the big pictures on the front of the page. Oh, you sell shirts and stuff? Yeah. What do you got? T-shirts. Do you have package deals? I don't have package. Do have well, you, you know what? Koozies? I will make a yeah, smoking deal. Koozies? I do have koozies. Do have I have bracelets? pink shirts. I don't have bracelets. Hmm. Um, have you seen our bracelets? I have, have not. Stickers? Do you own any of our? I bracelets? do have stickers. You I do can not. Buy some on your way out to you know, Can he's, I? He's wearing right a outside Mod bracelet, and I'm wearing a Murder Nova bracelet because we're, oh, we're best friends. That's, that's nice. That is. Yeah, mine's my kind of wearing out. I haven't taken it off once, and and then I got caught, and, <laughs> and then I put it back on. I haven't taken it off since then. 
He's my bestie, my bestie. That's a my serious bestie. relationship you have going on. <laughs> <laughs> I taught him how to water whip on mm. the stove. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyways anyways yeah go check out nominator 405 racing.com get some shit from him too because he's going broke as well that's obviously a fact. by the number on the list he's really broke oh yes. man yeah yes. damn I, you know it take you a little while to get used to those turbos it was uh well, yeah he, he was down there though when he was nitrous yeah but what was it gonna he, take him but i got back he, up he, there he made a run for the top there i did i went back up who'd you beat default no 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 none of mine were default <laughs> nope I went all the way back up to five, and then me and Jeez. Jerry kind of, oh, yeah, hey, don't rub it in. What? I mean, <laughs> there's nothing. Man. Five, if you're five on the list these days, that's pretty good, I think. That's yeah, no that's, joke. Well, that list is getting so fucking fast. It's dude. out of control, man. Okay, so. Yeah, it is. Dominator, it's crazy. tell us a little bit about, for the people that are listening, the tens of listeners, which we're probably in the nines of listeners now because we have Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. The only we, ones like, that are left are those. The diehards. We may be yes. nines of listeners. Like my mom. She doesn't even listen anymore. But, yeah. you know, like Chandra McDaniel listens. Yeah. You know, so we got that All one. All the time. She's never going to stop listening. No, no. She is one of the old faithfuls. Yeah. So you just call her old? Oh, he did. Old, I said old. O-L. Old faithful. Like an endearing, an yes. term of endearment. Yes. Okay, I got you. I got this good, good save on that. <laughs> Fucking good save, brother. <laughs> Fucking decent. <laughs> Fucking decent. <laughs> Yeah, he, she'll yeah, kick he, his yeah. ass. He tried. He tried to bust me out too. Tried, you know, tried, whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you call her old? I tried to put him on fucked up, front man. Street. He just talked about besties. Besties. My and bestie, then he's my calling me friend. out on it. My bestie, yeah, my best friend. Um, Dominator, tell the nines of listeners now who uh, who you are, why you're here, what what do you have to do with the four hundred five? Why are you in this? What's your fucking? Where you come from? Yeah, I mean, not like, like since she was a kid. You know? Oh, you don't want to know that I crashed my first car at three? Uh, what? Actually, now I kind of do. Yeah. I didn't want to. But then that's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> and you can skip to, you know, whenever you so, started with the 405. Yeah. So, it, okay. So, at three, I crashed a GTO, as a matter of fact. Holy shit. Yeah. Was your pops mad at you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, he was. Yeah. What? I, 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 I you just broadsided said. a Volkswagen van. Oh, you, you hit another driving. car? <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. You didn't just pop yeah. it out no. of here no. and run it. No, 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 no. I went, of half, we went a half a block down the street before we made an abrupt left-hand turn. Yeah, nice. straight up, yeah. Can I help me out, Dominic? Okay. How does a three year old have control of a GTO? <clears throat> well, so. It had a Pontiac motor in it. It did actually have a Pontiac <laughs> motor in it, yeah. Um, he didn't know what to do with all that power. <laughs> <laughs> he still wouldn't. So, you know, obviously I couldn't touch the pedals because, I mean, hell, I'm short now. So at three, I was really little. You think? Uh, I was standing up in the seat. I don't honestly remember the whole thing. Uh, I remember my mom saying, don't touch anything. Yeah, well, when you're three and you're a car kid, you know how to start a car, right? And my brother Shane ended up on the floorboard pushing pedals. Yeah, it had the his, hers. Teamwork. It was teamwork. His, hers, shifter, put that bitch in drive, and we were going down the road. And apparently he really pushed on the gas pedal. And <laughs> I don't remember hitting the van. I remember seeing the van, and then I don't remember hitting it. Then I remember the police lights and hiding what? in the back seat. Fuck. So wait, like you hit yeah. the back seat so like your you mom, didn't do it? What'd you do? Your mom like went in to get a pack of smokes or something? She like went she went up to her friend's house. She pulled up, didn't pull in the driveway. She pulled, you know, up to the yeah, curb. Curbside. And said, Don't touch anything, I'll be right back. And ran up to the girl's house to get her and left uh, the keys in it. Yeah. Yeah. And I went I went for a ride, pivot. Got it. <laughs> That's gonna so, hurt everybody so, for a loop. So she left you out there <clears throat> with your brother. In a GTO while she went up and was buying a sack off of one of her friends. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> my mom, hey, here's the sad part. Is my mom, I guarantee you my mom hasn't had three drinks of alcohol, let alone a sack. Oh, okay. So, well, you know, I'm just saying, whatever she was doing. She yeah, went she up, went up there to get her friend. To get something, and then yeah. she comes back down, and you're gone. Yeah, I showed her how to drive the car. Your brother was how old? Uh, Shane would have been two. Your brother was two, pushing on the pedals. You were three, working. I was not quite four. Yeah, I was standing up in the seat, working the wheel. Hmm. Yeah, whipping the wheel, whipping wood grain. What year was it? Sixty nine. Oh man. Yeah. What year did this happen? Sixty (laughs) nine. No, this would have been. (laughs) I'm not quite that old. This would have been 1976. Wow. Yeah, it was the day she brought my baby brother home from the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So he went for the ride too. 
Yeah. She was really looking for a you can, I'm sure you can, back in a car seat, though, or something, right? We didn't have car seats back then, man. <laughs> Hanging out. He was just in there for the ride. He was in the console. <laughs> <laughs> they put him in the back window. <laughs> hey, I rode in the back window a lot. Hell on the rear yeah. deck with, the, with them six by nines. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, was in, I rode in the back right, window so a lot. So you crashed it bad. Yeah. That yeah. sucks. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I don't remember the ass whooping, I'm sure, that I got, but I do remember seeing his big forearm go through the... Through the door oh, window man. to yeah to pull me out of the car and then nice. I don't remember much of it well, after I mean, that. You know. Three, you know, you couldn't couldn't really get that much of an ass. No, no, oh. yeah, you never know. I don't know. I don't know. Was you, it a console shift? Yeah, had hers. his hers shifter. God damn. Yeah, Dominic. now I know. <laughs> Fucking up cars at three. Yeah, didn't, now haven't now, stopped. Now, yeah, Look at me now. Haven't stopped. Look at the <laughs> scoot to put on your car. <laughs> You, you don't like. Fuck, you've been making cars <laughs> uglier every day since you were three. Man, that's making cars uglier since '05 when we met you. Yeah, was it '05? I don't know. I don't it had know. to have been somewhere what's, around there. I, what's the deal? So you you've been racing since you were three. Yeah, you know I'm like Smokey. <laughs> um, well, yeah, street racing has been since I was a kid. You know, like everybody else. And what was um, your first car? 1956 Chevy, Fuck two door sedan, still have it. To fuck that one up. I ate nine. Man. Yeah, I ate nine fence posts at 125 mile an hour. Holy oh, so shit! It's total. Street Did racing. No, no, no. What y'all do? Fix that GTO to push that car to 120? <laughs> <laughs> Damn! I come here for this kind of abuse. I can get this shit at home. <laughs> I got a 56 Chevy to 120. I had a 427 in it. Mm. Yeah, uh, street racing. Eight nine fence post. Nice. Yeah, it sucked bad. The car was still running, and I drove it How home. How were you then, nine? No. <laughs> uh, shit. 22, 23, oh, wow. something like that. So you drove that car for a while. Yeah. crashed it. Yeah. Uh, I've had a lot of cars, so. Road what, runners. Uh, did you, like, take a break or what? Because we didn't really see you <clears> till <throat> cash days. It would have been the second or third the, Dallas cash days. Yes. The, the very first cash days that I came to. I actually didn't get in was the one in Elk City mm -hmm. when oh, everybody got pissed off because yeah. they yep got kicked out. Right. Yeah, I showed up. Then. I'm sorry? You had the car then though, right? Yeah, but it wasn't running. I had a 71 Z28 with a 468 and two kit or a That's the one, car. one kit. Yeah, orange one with the silver stripes that Brandon drove. Mm -hmm. um, and I, <laughs> I had been on the website for, I don't know, six months to a year, something like that. And I seen the deal on cash days, and that thing ran 960s. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go down there and take some Oklahoma City money. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I sh yeah, I showed up, and I was I was smart enough to not even get in. I mean, hell, I had a 10-inch tire car, and I'm walking through the pits going, holy shit. Yeah. I'm way outgunned. Big tire cars. Yeah. Shit got crazy. Yeah. It, it did. Got crazy that was quick. about the time that everybody started going to big tires. Yeah. Yeah, the there was, yeah, there was a couple of, um, I think, was Crackers Mustang a small tire car still? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was a couple yeah, of small tire you know, cars, like, but uh, old dude El Camino from Texas. He's Taz. always in it. Taz. Yeah, the white one. Yeah, I was still small tire, I think, at that point. Or my was going big tire. It was somewhere around there. Because I remember yours was probably still out of pups. The cash <laughs> <laughs> getting the whole back half done to her. That cash days, uh, <laughs> the cash days we had here that we split when Ronnie Pace uh, tore the road up or whatever. That was the one where I was small tire and I got beat by. Uh, buddy mcafee yeah in the stealth car but he crossed the center line but he was like four cars out of me when he crossed and i was like yep and i smoked the tire so i was like yeah i ain't, I ain't messing around i'm going big tire so i took the car and you know took it out to puff white's house and had him back have it Fuck after it that a. but you 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 bought that car that you have now from troy Scott? no i bought it from um a guy named tony law it came from troy um the elliott brothers built that car over by yale um, they built that car in the 90s. Um, I've actually talked to the lady that they built that car for. Um, and I oh, bought they it. They built it for a lady. Well. Is that why it's purple? Damn. damn. Holy <laughs> shit. Saw that one. Damn. Yep. Yeah. That's, yep. So, yeah, yeah the story on that deal was the, the the chick, the lady wanted, uh, she wanted to become uh, a pilot. The chick backed out of this deal. Yeah. We got to sell the Dominator. Yeah, yeah holy shit. We got to yeah, move this sweet, car. Perfect car for you. <laughs> <laughs> He's building for this lady. Or, uh, Look at that hood. Yeah. And Dominator said, I'm in. Hey, you know what's really sad? I like that hood. The scoop that's on it now? I do, yeah. Hey, that's all that matters. Yeah, 100%. If you I, like don't, it, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't believe it. 
I don't believe you. No, I really There's do. There's no way you'll Doc like it. Doc likes this hood, too. No, he doesn't. Nobody likes a hood that ugly. Hmm. The one he's got nope. now looks a lot better than... Yeah, <laughs> than, hey, I Nobody. can't respond to that. Yeah, the hood he's nope. got now looks a whole hell of a lot better than the old one. I will so, give him that. Okay, so you got the car, put your Chevy motor in it. Now, yep. that, that disappointed a lot of it did, guys. But, hey, here's the truth, man. That thing blew up five big block Dodge motors like in five weekends, and they put a big block Chevy in it, and... I'm, yeah, well, you know, I mean, they don't break as easy. So yeah. there's, <clears throat> but that was back in the, that was back in the day when the Stroker Mopar motors were just coming out. You know, they were putting the 440 cranks in the 400s and building 500 inch Strokers. So there was a lot of problems with those in the beginning. Yes. They're a lot like a Pontiac. Mm. Terrible oiling system. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. All right. So, so then. <clears throat> I remember, I'm trying to think back like the first time. I just remember you. We, we rented the track. Nice. We rented, yeah, we rented, days. yeah, the old, oh, holy shit, it man. I was, amazing thing ever. I'm telling you, hey, I, uh, I rented the track with you guys. Uh, and then I got the whole, when I got home, there was a message on the board that said, if you see the invite only, then keep that to yourself. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, because I, I think when you were at the track <clears throat> and you were doing that, we were kind of talking to you about it, and we were like, "Would you, you know, we were asking the same questions we always do. What'd you build this car for? What yeah. are you going to do with it? What's yeah, your what plan? Do with it? Street racing. Said, street racing. I was like, hmm, okay. So then, yeah, I kind of gave you access to the other side of the website for the street racing stuff, and then I don't know how you got invited to cash days, though. I got invited to a list shakeup. Oh, yeah, that's right. And holy shit, you guys did it so different than we did at home. You know, back home... You, uh, the whole crowd didn't go, you know, the two or three people that were involved in the race went and everybody else went somewhere else. And my very first race with you guys was against Dave in the Sonoma. And oh, shit. yeah, and I forgot to turn on the freaking nitrous bottle. Imagine that. Yeah. Wow. Hey, I was a nervous son of a bitch, wow. man. I'm not hey, gonna lie. Three we rolled <laughs> over, <laughs> over and over and <laughs> over and over. Yeah, holy and shit. Over, over and over and over and over and over. over. But I'm not the only one that's done that for the record. No, you're but, not. But yeah, we rolled the cars out in the parking lot and everybody was getting their shit ready and I hear cars firing up, and the next thing I know, we look up, and we're the only ones left in the parking lot. Everybody had went to where we were going. Yeah, we drove, we drove a little yeah, to go to that. Yeah, a couple point. of miles to get over there. Yeah, yeah. And you did, you did, you did well. You had a good car. Yeah, I remember you went to Cash Days in Texas with us. Yeah, you made fun of my slicks and your helmet and on helmet. on the dyno. You had the open face helmet. Dominator has this huge beard. His fucking helmet on is an open face. So yeah, and he was wearing like see leather the, welding gloves yeah, or whatever to race yeah. in. <laughs> see the big smile boots. on his face. Hey, it was just amazing. You know, okay, so we had my car on Chuck's dyno for what two days because I yeah, had we couldn't only a why mile long list anything. of yeah, problems. So many fucking Remember problems. The, yeah, the size of the fucking nipple on the nitrous plunger. Oh my god! I, I chased problems helping him trying to tune <laughs> that thing. I was like, dude, it just won't get any nitrous. This plate just won't flow anything. I don't understand. And we finally, and I kept asking him like. Is it possible that those solenoids, you know, that the nipple, that the plunger in those solenoids is bad? Well, this was before. And he was like, that no. was the first thing that we checked. He was like, no, no, this is a brand new kit. It was when I bought it, it was brand new. And I was like, I don't understand how this fucking, finally we pulled it out and it was the worst one I'd ever seen. And I still, I, I kept it. And, <laughs> and I was like, God damn it, Dominator. And he goes, what? The the, the guy told me he'd only used it two or three times. I was like, no, 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 no. You said brand new. Yeah, <laughs> <you know? Yeah. laughs> left it two or three times in two years. But yeah. Left the nitrous on. Yeah, something. <clears throat> that might have happened. Yeah. That, that could have uh, happened. We finally got it to make some power and then took it took it the way it was and you did well though you won your first round yeah did a wheelie went for the curb Man, history first repeats fucking itself time he- <laughs> this is weird hey, okay I'm kind of telling the about these stories it's, this, it's like going, off. it's the same it's like going to the race with dominator the same as it is this weekend yes you know what i mean yes like back then <laughs> i mean think about it so he left his nice off and then he goes down there to Texas for cash days and he does a big wheelie and heads for the curb. Yes. Has to let him. No, it didn't go for the curb. It did whenever you got Okay, now I did when I ran boosted. Yes, it did. Yeah. Yeah. But no, the first pass, it, it didn't. It went for the curb. Yeah, it the did. The first pass, no. It that was long and pretty. And you won and we were all excited for you and you were the happiest I'd ever seen. Anybody. Man. A grown-ass man. Wheel, steering wheel and acting like a fool. Hey, I was. Hey, I, hey, 
when I was turning, first off, I was really nervous because it wasn't what two passes before that that Ronnie Pace went off the end of the road. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yes. And Jerry comes back and he's like, "Shut down, short, get yeah. on the brakes." I'm thinking, same shit. To me. shit. Yeah. He did you know? the same shit to me. Didn't need all that. No. No. Didn't need to scare you like that. No, not really. I mean, this was my first time with a big crowd of street. Well, let's back up just a There's little a lot bit. Of people there. Went to the the drivers meeting. Holy shit! There was three thousand people there. I mean that that was a city block of nothing but crowds of people. That was yeah. yeah that was shit. Was one hundred percent illegal. Holy that? shit, man! That was crazy. That was, was a good time. It, you think about it now, and people people you know they make fun of the show or they say that it ain't real or whatever. They have you think no about, you clue. Think back and you're like, you know, we did that. You know, yeah. I mean, like we really did. Like we really had, we were really a part of an underground group of illegal street racers that held giant money races and gambled in the, yes. you know, dark parking lot yeah, somewhere. Those people have no idea. I mean, 30 cars there. Yeah. And, 20 and, cars, you know, $10,000 on the line sometimes. Yeah. Back then, you know, and it was like, I don't know, dude, it's just crazy to think about nowadays because street racing has gotten so in the spotlight or in the limelight. People didn't even know what we were doing back then. Like yeah. cops would pull in and go, what in the fuck's going on? Yeah. What are y'all doing? Yeah. yeah. Now they know. They know what we're doing. Yeah, they know I mean, the lingo. Could, they could know everything. Almost say that you, we was having a car show. Yeah. Back now then. they now yeah. they pull you in know. there and they go, "Well, did y'all make any test hits yet?" You know. Yeah. What I mean, they know what's going yeah. on. They know. You know, it's like it's 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 kind of been brought to the spotlight, which is good and bad. You know, it kind of shows. It has its ups and downs. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. But <clears throat> you um. I remember how happy he was. When hey, he hey, so happy. when I'm shutting down, I shut the car down and I'm turning around and I'm coming back and I'm thinking, all right, you're going to stay calm. <laughs> you're not going to let him see how excited you are. And I pulled in the parking lot and Sean runs up to the door and he jerks the door. But he's like, holy shit. And I, was, I blew up. Yeah, I fucking lost day. it. He, he, he made blew it. Up. Just punching his fucking steering wheel and shit. His beard fucking hanging out of that open. Yeah, I, I was still strapped in my car. I didn't even undo the seatbelts. You know? Be honest. Be honest, man. A lot of people will never know the feeling, and even people that race with us today will never know the feeling of going to another city, unloading in somewhere you've never been, never seen before, you've never yeah. even driven down this road before. Exactly. Yeah, you don't get it. You don't get to drive down it. You don't get to make a test nope. hit in it. You just gave your thousand dollars to the pot, and now, and then you got to make a test. You hit. do all that before you even go to the. That's road. what I'm saying. Yeah, you know? yeah. You haven't yeah. seen, you seen them. <laughs> you show up at the meeting spot. You give your money. You find out who you're racing. Okay, you meet the dude you've never met or seen before ever. You don't even you don't even see his car. You can't even give a shit. Like it doesn't matter. You're racing him for well, money. And there's so many fucking <laughs> people there. You couldn't get to his car anyways. Yeah. And then when you get to the race spot, you have to unload your car, put a tune up in it to go down a road you've never seen before. And you don't even get a chance to like go down it in your truck. Like yeah. they just say, yeah. They say the road's over there, and you go, oh, oh um, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do, well, okay. And hopefully you're and not then, the first race. So you can at least walk out there and walk the starting right. line. Yeah. And have an uh, idea. But if you're the first race, I mean, you got to go out there and make a hit and never have seen the road. And then you're going down a dark ass sketchy road with curbs and buildings everywhere and fences and sprinklers on and fire hydrants going. <laughs> you and, have and no idea what's going spectators on. Spectators everywhere. And we don't know if there's a bump. You don't know how short the shutdown is. You don't know when you should be on the brakes. You don't know where to turn around. You don't know anything. You just pull up there. You put your shit on the trans brake and you let a thousand to two thousand horsepower go off the button whenever the light comes on. And you do this just, I mean, why? why? You know because I mean? it is the fucking coolest shit there is on earth. I mean, I mean what, what is it like? Tell I, it is, I it is. I don't get that feeling anymore. Well, because we, we don't get to yeah, do it very much. Loosen, loosen the shocks up, raise the wheelie bars up, lose sight of the road. You'll get that feeling again. What feeling? No, you won't. The sensation of... Well, you know what? We just need to go do a real cash yeah, days. Yeah. You don't get what the, from me anymore. It, he's asking you a question. Oh. Oh, I don't... I don't there's, no, the, there's not... It's like racing at the track now. It is. There's, there's no excitement. I mean, it's still more exciting than the track to me, but it, it's not the... It's not the the jumping out of an airplane type is what it used to be. Well, yeah, I mean, you're racing at the same spot every weekend. I yes. guess the same guy every weekend. Yes. Yeah, I can understand that. But we still every once in a while we still get to feel it. You know, well, we, when we yeah, go, out, go of town, out of town, you know, or something. we go out of town yes. or something, or we get something set up. You know, we still get to feel that every once in a while. That's that's the cool part. It, you know? And but it's still not to the extent of what that was. Well, of course, that like was you're talking about. that was you the just driving through like Dallas. 
driving through Dallas, following eighty miles an hour. Holy shit! Open trailers, because that's what we all rolled on. You know, <laughs> six open trailers just rolling through Dallas. There's, you know, two o'clock in the morning. There's no other traffic, it, and and you put put on for your city or, or whatever you got, whatever music that you like to listen to on your way to, you know, that gets you in your happy spot, and. There's just no feeling like it. I was so nervous. I didn't even have the radio on. I was absolutely. On the way? You don't have like a certain. I do now. It, do like well, on the way? no. I mean, it's whatever I'm in the mood for. But that weekend, I'm I'm telling you, you guys ruined me. I mean, no, really. No, I knew that there it, was no going back for you. After absolutely that. not. Street racing before wasn't like that. I mean, that was the first time I had there. ever been involved in something of that mass. And holy shit, I can't even explain. The wasn't wasn't uh Ronnie Pace and Jerry wasn't that the very first race of the night? Where where he went? Yeah, when he ran off the end of the road. No, I don't know who. When Ronnie Ronnie got to the end? Ronnie was first or second? No, I think Stealth Car was first, and he went into the he grass. Went off into the grass. That's right. And yeah. then after that was Ronnie, he went off the end. And yeah. you were in front of me, and I was sitting behind you, and I was racing. Who did I race that night? I raced vet man, and I. I ran the tires the whole the whole path. <clears throat> yeah, you did. Who did I race? I don't remember who I raced. I may have raced Taz. I just remember I racing. ran janitor. You were in front of me, strapped in. I was behind you, strapped in, waiting. And I remember them running over to my car, and uh, Monza came over and goes, "Hey man, be safe. It's super short." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "The shutdown is oh, short." Great. I got <laughs> fucking drum brakes on these people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you had drum brakes all the way around. Yeah, thanks, pal. Yeah, you know. that was yeah. Well, you, but the thing about drum brakes though is you get that one good stop out of them. Yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, just don't but, let off. But once that you hit them. Truly, that 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 was the two craziest nights, and I was. I I told those guys. I told my buddies before I came down here. I was going to be racing with you guys, and then I got the big tire car and. Went to cash days and whole, I, it, yeah. It changed There's, your life. It did completely. There is absolutely no words to express how you feel that whole entire weekend. You know, I mean, there's no hiding what we're doing when everybody's on open trailers and you're going in and out of industrial parks and you get busted and you got to leave and go somewhere else. And I mean, the whole experience is, is awesome. You know, staying in the motels, it was, you know, you walk outside, you see, eight other trailers <laughs> yeah. out there you know eight other badass fucking cars yeah i mean it's just there's no experience like it yeah that's a fact and even you know even not being number one on this list being anywhere in it if you stop and think about how many fast cars there really are around the united states and to be involved in a group like this yeah you're not gonna be able to kick me out of it i mean that's just that's well, you, you put on, you know, you've always done, you've always put on, you've always, uh, represented well, you know, you, you, uh, you're part of the group for sure. You're OG status, you know what I mean? For sure. Um, we love you, you know, and there's been a few times where you've <laughs> had to carry us on your back a time or two, but yeah. it's, uh, how'd you feel? How'd you like that pressure? What? <laughs> In Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. Well, it was all down to me. <laughs> yeah, I was I a little... Yeah, all right. <laughs> I was like, Governor, you got this, man. Yeah, when was that? That was, um, that was a year or two ago, and your car had a big, bad wheelie problem. Yes. I'm glad you got that figured out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> Yeah, it did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have good shocks on it back then. Oh, well, what do you yeah. do now though? I do. Yeah, and it and it works great. It does actually. Um, when you put the wheelie bars where they belong and not ten and ten and a half inches off the ground, right? So no, I was hearing with that music. I, don't, I didn't hear that. I was hearing music. Um. Oh well. Hold that thought, Dominator. There's something I really need to talk about. Okay. It's just been on my mind, and I just I can't, can't quit thinking about I it. I can't. Me and Sean just can't quit thinking about it. Do you remember the last podcast where we told you about that Blue Apron place? There was some confusion as to how this actually worked, <laughs> and 
Just want to make sure everybody knows. They send you literally every ingredient you need. For less than $10 per meal, Blue Apron delivers seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients to make delicious home-cooked meals. Blue Apron knows that when you cook with incredible ingredients, you make incredible meals, Dominator. So they set the highest quality standards for their community of artisanal supplies, family-run farms, fisheries, and ranchers. Oh, man. Whether it's Japanese ramen noodles, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, or heirloom tomatoes, Blue Apron is bringing you the best. Man, I've been thinking about that. <clears throat> Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals for free. They're going to even send it to you for free. No shipping. What? By going to blueapron.com forward slash Chief and Sean. I need what? to spell that out. What? You will love how good it feels, Joe. And I, tastes. I needed this information two weeks ago. My wife's been gone for two weeks. That's I've been, why we're bringing it back why, here. Yeah, You'll bringing, love how good it, back, it feels. Baby. Damn. You'll love how good it tastes to create an incredible home-cooked meal with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com. Forward slash Chief and Sean. Spell it out, Chief and Sean. Chief Sorry, and no, Sean. I, uh, we just had to get I, that off our chest. It's just been it's been bugging me since the last podcast. I understand. And, um, it's I been a wait. while. I was going to wait, but I couldn't wait any longer. So yeah. So fast forward to today. Today. So you, what did you, what did you think, or to to recent, I guess. What did you think whenever you got a call or a text from me that said we're going to try out this TV show gig? Uh, to be honest, right off the bat, I thought we were going to jail. Hell yeah! I really, I, think that's what everybody I, thought. I really thought that it was some kind of sting operation. Sting operation, <laughs> and they were getting all this footage on us, you know, and they were going to take all this footage, and our asses were all going to jail. Yeah. The CIA is busting the cash days. <laughs> yeah, the sting operation, boys. Yeah, the we, first time he told me about, it, I was like, "Nah, I'm out, man." Pussies on the pavement. <laughs> 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 Everybody yeah. butt naked. You're going to the <laughs> prison. Close your eyes and go to your happy place. Yeah, exactly. We're looking at Waylon Jennings. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, everybody thought we were going to jail, but it's turned out it's changed all of us. Yeah. Some holy of us shit. Are better. Some of us for the worse. Some of us both. Parts of us are better. Parts of us are worse. You know, it's it's really it's affected everybody's life. It's affected everybody's families. It's affected our livelihoods. It's affected. I mean our bank accounts both ways you know i mean it's my banker calls me and says what are you thinking yeah, i don't know what, yes my uh, banker doesn't call anymore my banker yeah. sends people He's after me. locks the shit down and says hey yeah. dummy yeah. don't go there everywhere i go my gear <coughs> account is frozen so <laughs> yeah. i don't have my, a banker they're like we ain't giving you no money no, my account my bank account is like elsa and fucking what's her name anna from yeah this shit's frozen everywhere yeah. i go I'm trying to remember your password it doesn't matter you're it doesn't frozen. matter like, let yeah. it go yeah like, <laughs> just let it go <laughs> what you do with all your money i'm like i'll let it go <laughs> he knows hey i got three daughters man i listen to that shit so much and i watch let it go all the time i oh, love yeah. that fucking movie it's really sad when you when you walk in the house for lunch and you sit down and that shit's on and you don't change it no I like no. that. I watch that shit. <laughs> you want to build a snowman? <laughs> oh, uh, crap. So, if you had a chance to do it all over again, would you have said no to the TV show? Be honest. No. No, because here's the deal. Everybody was doing it. And if I said no, and you guys were doing it, who the hell was I going to be racing with? Because Yeah, your life would have changed anyways. It would have, 100%. And here, who was racing but us? I mean, in, in all honesty... For what, eight years we've been doing this crap that I've known you guys. So there was nobody else street racing but us. Not around here, not like this. I hear some of the guys bitching. I hear some of the guys that aren't on the show bitching. I hear some of the guys that are in the groups of the people that are on the show bitching. <laughs> and I hear things like this all the time. And at first I kind of got it, you know, when they say like, man, it just sucks because I wish we could go back to the way it was. You know, Justin McDaniel says that shit a lot and it fucking wears me out because at first when he would say it, I'd be like, yeah, man, me too. I understand. Like it does this. It's it's different now. Things have kind of changed, but I start thinking back, like and I start reminiscing, and I'm like, man, think about how it was. And then I'm like, wait a minute, like, let's be honest here. When the show came, everyone was saying, everyone back then was saying, I just wish we could go back to racing every weekend. I just wish we'd go back to street racing. That's every what weekend. we're doing. I wish the cops wouldn't fuck with us so much at all of our spots. I wish we could race in the same spot every weekend because then we wouldn't have to worry about dirty ass cougar or BNR's fucking left lane or, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? We wouldn't have to worry about sooner, you know, the trying to get out of the parking lot. 
Yeah. Oh, why can't we just, why can't Climate Masters just be a little longer? Why can't yeah. they get rid of the bump in the right lane? <laughs> we need a better you know? shutdown. <laughs> I mean, think about it. We, we raced at Climate, everybody hated the right lane because of the bump. Well, now we're racing in Okima, and then we get, everybody hates the left lane because of the bump. I wish we could just go back to the way it was. Bitch, it's the same, except it's exactly what we all asked for. We all wanted to race every weekend. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. And we're racing every weekend, and we wanted all the cars to run. Some people just said, I just wish everybody's cars would be running at the same time. Yeah. All we the go cars out are- every weekend, and every car on the list is there. Yes. Yeah. And it's, so it's tough for me because it's like you see a dream and you're like, you know, that would make everything better. Like if that, if someone came here and was like, Hey, pick a road that you want to race on and we'll shut it down for a couple hours and you guys get to race. I'm not saying that that's ever happened to us, but like, you know, if someone said that we would have been all game for it. Yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? And we don't do it because we enjoy running from the cops. No, that's why you were in Elk City, right? We enjoyed running from the cops. That's why we raced in the legal street races that I mean, they I put on everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Hey, Allegedly. I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> Allegedly. Sometimes I, I didn't make it very far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now we have, you know, we have become immortalized. You know what I mean? Like we've taken who we were as people and changed it into something else. So it was, you were Dominator. You were Joe Woods. Yeah. You were Joe. You yeah. were the Joe that lived up in Perkins, wherever the fuck you live, and <laughs> you welded on stuff. That's who you were. All day. Every that day. That was it, though. Yep. Nobody knew that in on Saturday night, somewhere when, when next you, to... When you put your kids and everything to yeah, bed, that's what I'm man, saying. Nope. Sneak nobody out. Yeah. Knew that, we were the wolves. Nobody knew you that. You know, I mean... Yeah, wolves win wars, you know? Yeah. Like, nobody knew that, like, Joe, Joe Woods was Dominator, like... Whenever he put his daughters to bed and he quit welding on shit, he left Perkins, Oklahoma, and or wherever the hell he lived, and he drove to Dallas, Fort Worth area, and next to a FedEx plant somewhere at two he in the mo- at two hero. in the morning, he was a hero. You put him yeah. on a sketchy road in the middle of the night, and he did work. People didn't know that. Well, our kids didn't even know that. You know, you know, I mean, I would most of the time I'd be back before Aiden even woke up the next morning. Yeah, yeah. you know, so my life wouldn't go <clears> on. My Sunday sucked. Because you can't just sleep all day. Dad, 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 to, dad. You have, to, you have to resume your life. Well, no, yeah. and how can you tell your kid, like, look, I'm sorry I can't play with you on Sunday, but I was out street racing for money all night. Yeah. And I mean, gambling yeah. away any money I made that week. Like, exactly. But I got oh, tire yeah. money. Yep. Yeah, I'm dad of the year right here. Exactly. You know, I can't do that. So, yeah. but somehow or another, we've, we've been immortalized because of that. You know what I mean? Like, this, our, we will live on forever as, as, who we really are as you know because yeah you're joe woods that welds on shit but you're also the you're also jo- joe woods the dominator you know I mean? you're yep. also the guy in that purple dodge you know doing yep. wheelies and you know that's who you are right yep. so people now know that you're the nice guy who does wheelies and you're going to be that forever now yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's no change in that is there no and but that's one of these days you guys will see the asshole side of me Ew, i don't want to see your asshole what the fuck <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say you were going to see my asshole. You'll see the asshole like, side of me. Asshole side of you. Yeah, I do. There I don't is see one. that side of you either. Yeah. I don't know, man. You keep your balloon not to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you just you missed it last weekend. No, you just I didn't about seen. No, I, did. no, I, I didn't miss shit. <laughs> <laughs> last weekend they were trying to bet Chuck boosted had him really close to putting his ass on that sticky street. Yeah, he's gonna stick his nuts to it. Wow. He was. He was actually. He was actually Why? getting really close he wasn't for money. Oh well, Chuck needs it. Yeah, sometimes you need money to put your car back together. Yeah. So it's uh, people. People like to bitch about the the situation that they're in today, and they'll always refer back to the situation that they were in before with fondness, even though you know it may not be what they remember. You know what I mean? Like they'll always. It's never what they remember. I mean, I wasn't that. I remember. No, it was. Of course not. That's what I'm saying. There were some great times. Don't get me wrong. There were some great times. They but were they few were few and far between. The, but the great times were great only because the shitty times were so so yeah. much. You know, what I mean, we had so many shitty nights where we didn't get one race off, or well, the cops ran us right off, now, or whatever. If you took one of our race nights that we have right now and threw it back in in the day, it'd be the most amazing fucking thing we've ever seen. Right, and it sucks that people can't seem to. You know, people always want to refer to the past. Man, I just wish it was like it was back in the day. I wish I wish we could get back to that. I wish we could get back to that. And it's like, get back to what? Yeah. What exactly are you yeah. talking about getting back to? So we're yeah. taking it for granted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for granted. <laughs> you know, like, Everybody gets stuck in a rut, you know? And it's, and it's, it's, um, that's one of the negative sides of life is getting stuck in the negative and, and not being able to pull your ass out of it. 
you know? Always and, on my ass. I don't understand. Why is Joe, or Joe well, always on my ass? He's a philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, you, you think about it. It's it. You know, you, you, you guys think about you it. And we were the, we're the same. That's think right. About it. Yeah, think what about it. How many cakes this little can? <laughs> <laughs> There's, but you know, you guys both know. <laughs> you guys both know that one person in a negative mood gets on the phone with another person. Oh yeah, it can poison the group. Yeah, absolutely, and it doesn't take long, and then everybody's it can, mad, and it can poison the group. It's happened a bunch. Yes. It has. <clears throat> it definitely has. And we know you're that poison dominator. We I am. I, I'm, you, know you call people and you try and get them to quit the show. I do. I, I beg every one of them to just band together and quit. The, Fuck only, it. the only reason I'd never believe that you were ever trying to stage a malicious uh, walk-off <laughs> or, or like uh, a large group effort of fucking things up is because no one would listen to you. Like, Oh, hey, Damn. Like, like <laughs> if, you text, if you were to text somebody about it, they wouldn't even understand. All right, listen, guys. Yeah, but even if it was a great idea, you, you wouldn't no put one it would out know there it. right. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, they wouldn't be able to Nobody listen knows to what's going on in your mind. No, Can you? Because dude, and he'll, he'll text you something, and I mean, whoa. <laughs> like, like, I wish I could find the text that he sent us a week or two ago. Some of the, you know? When yeah. I was coming down here for class? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Your Colorado. Yeah, uh, oh crap. Hey, I didn't type that. Just so you guys know, that was voice activated. Well, and you should read that shit before you hit send. Hey, no, here's the deal. Because I'll tell you guys I give right up now, on that. all in a group it's, text. Everybody on the show, whether we like each other or not. Not everybody there's, there's on the show. OG, OGs. Yeah, OGs. There's, there's reasons or, or another that we all sometimes need to talk. So, this group text, Dominator will... Jesus, get on a roll and send a text that is a book. Yeah, a book. You know, and you can't understand none of it. No, it's not just a book. It's a, it's a literal. It's a literary fucking marvel. You know, at words that don't make sense, yes. and they're all real words, but none of them make any sense. No. The funny thing is, you know, the first time that happened, I was really aggravated, and then I was going to do the voice act the. Oh, uh, the autocorrect, right? Why don't you just text? Because I'm driving on the highway. So, yeah? <laughs> no. No? No. Okay. No. He said no. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do that either. I don't <laughs> think I've ever one time done the voice text. <laughs> Never. Well, time. after so after a couple of times, it, it was kind of funny. And then, you know, I know... Oh, you can't tell I, me you're doing this shit on purpose, Joe. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. I don't put those words in there on purpose. I just let it roll, purpose. and I just send it. I don't read it, you know? No, no, not until no, after. Not until afterwards. When somebody starts no, no, no. replying to it, you know, then I'll have to go back and read it. But... Most um, of the time, we just go, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, I figure most of the time, you just scan it. Oh, I'm not reading that one anyway. <laughs> Are you going through the text? <laughs> He's looking for it. <laughs> Man, that, was a, that was a while back. God, it was so funny. It That's all funny. I remember. I just remember how funny it was and how yeah. I, can, uh, I couldn't <clears throat> fucking believe that that actually was sent yeah, out. It was like, I haven't changed my... Yeah. I haven't changed my Colorado. <laughs> yeah, whatever it was in a long time either. And that wasn't even remotely close to what I said. That's the bad part. I don't I understand not. how. If that's it, what you were trying to say. Then I just don't. No, I don't that. even. I don't even understand how it comes up with the words that it puts in there. I feel like there's a whole lot that goes on in your mind. There is. And you have, you're, and you're really a smart dude. There's but it so just doesn't much. Translate well. No, it, it, does, it doesn't come out very well. It's just I, like in the group text the other day when we were talking about that, that earlier. What's that? What's the real smart guy's name? Richard or uh, Hawking? Stephen Hawking? Yes. Yeah. He, he's like <laughs> Stephen Hawking's, like. Uh, <laughs> Smartest dude in the world, but he can't. Nobody can understand him. It's difficult it makes, sometimes it to get it out. Head, though, it does one hundred percent. Okay, it's All it the is ideas in your head. They're great. Aren't yeah. They? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, Dominic, yeah, that's yes. what I'm wondering if if we if this, <laughs> if this podcast just compared Dominator Joe Woods to Stephen Hawking. Well, I think it did. It's just like the on the group text the other night when Doc was in in Texas at the no prep, and I made the comment. I don't even know how I put it, but something about. Um, yeah. I don't remember what the hell I said. Something about uh, don't get greedy or something. And your reply was bullshit, you know? Or no, it was fuck that, actually. I think yeah, that's what fuck you said. that shit. Get greedy. Well, what I actually he, he meant was. Faces. Run through somebody's face. What I actually meant was if you've got. Like Most if, of the time, the people don't like that. If you've got two or three kits that you haven't stacked together and you don't have a good tune up for it, don't go there. 
That's what I actually like meant. That. That's that's not mean. what I said, but no, that's, not know, what that's what I actually God meant. Only, no so. one knows what you actually said. Yeah. I feel like he's really smart, though. I've said that before. Joe's a really smart guy. It's just he has a hard time communicating what's in his head. But, I mean, like, he's <laughs> he's learning fuel injection on his own, and he's trying shit. And, you know, he's he's a smart dude. He can build chassis, and he can tune cars. Like, he's a smart cat, for well, sure. I feel like out of everybody who has, what is it? What do you got? Fuel injection? Fuel injection? Haltech. Okay, so out of everybody that has Haltech, man, you're, you're on top. Well, I've... Yeah, it works. It works well. well I don't. I don't Doc's number two with all Doc's. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is a this is a text that oh, I got shit. from he Dominator, found it. not Dominator, <laughs> in the group. Says, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it verbatim. I'm gonna read it verbatim. I've been thrashing my ad off all day, band night, just busy. It's a lot to do by yourself, ass. <laughs> added more bars to chassis change colorado and my four link changed all the rod ends in my yana roblar <laughs> Read on my brakes again car as better brakes now that I had ever changed parachute size and changing the stator and converter went through every nut and bolt in front of <laughs> Yeah. So after that, everybody just put what? <laughs> <laughs> and boosted says I haven't even changed my Colorado yet. And that was supposed. <laughs> and then boosted said plus my plus my Mayana Roblar is worth the fuck out. <laughs> that was supposed to be anti Roblar. I don't know how the fuck it spelled it that way. Man. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I said that, I, I thought he got like, married Jesus. to a wobbler and moved to Colorado. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah, and Chuck said, "Is it fixable?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's the other deal. I'm laughing my ass off rolling down the road because I didn't know it put it that way. I just hit send right, and yeah. then when boosted, re- <laughs> when yeah. when boosted replies, then I go back and I read it, and I'm I'm laughing. I'm, yeah, that's I'm, what we get whenever you text. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because if no one ever makes fun of you. So you don't. Go back and read it. I don't really care. So what comes out of your head? <laughs> yeah, and that's how it's translated to us. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's like you're, really it's like you're from another planet, and we just can't no, we just can't figure <laughs> out what you're saying. We don't speak the language. We don't have the vocabulary to understand you. Yes. Uh, yeah. So what's uh, what's up with the the new setup, the twin turbo deal? How's it how's it working? Is it coming around? Are you like holy anything? shit? What, yeah. What did you think the first it's, time that you made a full pass? And it have you it, made a full it pass? Never. <laughs> Yeah. And it never thanks. quit pulling. Ass. Yeah. yeah thanks. That ass shit again. Yep. Even, <laughs> the, even ass. the text he said it, it a couple times. It is absolutely it never stops pulling. It truly doesn't. And then when you hit like the very first time, you know, the first time I put thirty pounds of boost in it on the street, I was on some not so great tires, but so it didn't pick the front end up, right? So it didn't leave like it did when it was a nitrous car, but you get out there 20 feet and holy shit, that thing's moving. You click it in a high gear and then the, you hit mile an hour that you've never hit in that car before. And it just, it doesn't stop. It yeah. truly doesn't stop. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Were you it's, smiling? Oh yeah. Yeah. Knowing I, that one day you're going to get that shit. Yeah. Out. Hey, <laughs> I, when I pulled over, cause see where, where we're testing might or might not be a highway. <clears throat> might not or might. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I pull over and I wait on my truck and trailer to go by, you know, and the big rig. Yeah. Yeah. The, Actually the, at the that beaver. time, no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I got the data card. I got the data card out of the dash. I the race last weekend in a fucking a semi, semi truck. Yeah. This is a no, it's Express. just a single, it's a single cab. Though. Yeah, but it's a single, it doesn't have a sleeper <laughs> a in it. single cab. But fucking. it says Beaver Express on the door of the picture of a beaver. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> it used to. Somebody took it off. <laughs> Hey, yes. <laughs> fucking, hey, but when you got a Dodge, man, didn't your transmission go? I did, yeah. When I, it's been out for like two years, right? No, it's, it's, just, it's, just, it's about six out. months. You had that, that sweet Chevy, you know, Dooley you was Yeah, my brother sold that. That was my brother's. Right. He you sold it. it. He's, psh, with what money? Well, I put all my well, money in my car. You rent that Beaver Express, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll bet you that thing would drag that thing with no wheels on it, though. Oh, yeah. Shit. Won't you go gotta, faster than 55. How long of a drive is it? <laughs> Eight hours? Two hours. It's two hours from right, my house to Okima, yeah. 
and beat the shit out of you, man. Because it's, you know, it's got an air ride seat, but it's not an air ride rear suspension. <laughs> that truck is an industrial truck. It boom, 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 well, boom. And it no don't feel fucking that way. Back there. No, it has no clue that trailer's back the there. Whir- oh, hell yeah, it does. Whenever you went by me the other night, I wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have gave it. Yeah. Man. Oh god! Yeah, you have, like funny. your your. Uh, I really don't want to drag you, that thing with that truck. Do you just have, for the like record, your big uh, like <laughs> dog flash in the seat with you and stuff. No, if I st- if I still had a basset hound, I'd have had that bitch in there. I promise you. So, but hey, it was that or the truck that is with you. Your brother rides with you. Pretty yeah, much everywhere, right? Yeah. What's his name? The long, Shane. Long beard. That's Shane. Yeah, because you got two brothers. Two brothers, right? Shane and that Jeremy. Comes out every once in a while. Yep, so red Jeremy, beard. Jeremy, the one with the red beard, the Duramax. Yeah, with the dually. He's yeah. the one that Dave tried to run over. He is, yeah. 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 He jumped on the hood of Dave's car to get him to stop. I, I that's seen a joke. That. That's a that's a that. true that's a true family member right there. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> he's actually, to be honest, he's uh he blew two discs in his back and that night? Like two days before that. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. And <laughs> I asked him, I said, Did you really sit on the hood of his car? He goes, No. But I might have lost my balance a little bit when he bumped me. So He bumped him pretty good. Like yeah. Dave wasn't gonna stop. And that guy didn't I care. I synced it. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't moving, and Dave wasn't stopping. So. Yeah. Man. I, yeah. That, <laughs> what are you going to do? The games that they play. Yeah, what are you going to yeah. do? Wiley was a little upset. Wiley I was saw upset. That. I saw Wiley was upset. Yeah. Wiley gets upset. I've seen hey, Wiley get upset. But hey. But Wiley, Wiley, Wiley gets upset. When you, when you see it from a different perspective, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, yeah. No. It, it is what it is. That's the, that's the, right? that's. That's hey, I got to say this. Uh, he didn't, if if he'd have just stayed where he was at when I blocked his trailer, then yeah, that wouldn't have happened. Those are the games, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy shit. It is. So what's the what's the deal? There's a note here. It says possum story. Oh my god! <laughs> what's the possum story? We've got a possum at the house. Like a pet? No, no. It's gonna be it's gonna be dinner if somebody wants to eat it. It uh, we have a garden, he'll eat right? The gristle off that fucking possum. He'll eat the knee gristle. He'll eat the knee gristle off that. Well, this monkey one's monkey got it. This one's eat the knee gristle out of the squirrel. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> this one will taste good, I promise you, because it's been eating up my damn garden. Now it um, so it's been eating the what tomatoes. What are you in your garden? Tomatoes. What else? Squash. What about like in the back of the cucumbers, garden? Cucumbers. The the the, the yeah. other. Like, the, what about right in the, the middle? The, of the medicinal garden? stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, I gave that up a long time ago. Fuck. Who'd you give yeah. that to? <laughs> <laughs> I can show you how to make that work. Uh, uh, no, so this possum, you know, possums, they, they play possum. I wasn't home. It was race night. And my wife sends me a picture of this freaking possum laying beside a tomato plant. And she poked it, trying to get it to leave because it was eating the tomatoes. And it fell over and placed possum with its mouth open. So she takes <laughs> she takes a chili pepper and breaks it open and shakes the seeds off in this damn thing's mouth. So you know how what close she fuck? had to be to that thing to get to, to Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. So a possum's hey, eating you your You have tomatoes. no idea, man. I'm telling you right so now. Possum's eating your tomatoes. Yeah. Your wife shakes a stick at it and it plays it plays. It possum. falls over and plays possum. And instead of like killing the possum or getting rid of the possum, she, she decides was- to torment the possum by shaking Chili pepper seeds <laughs> into its mouth. Yeah, it gets better. It's, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it gets better. So it wouldn't leave, right? It's still, it's not moving. It's playing dead. Its mouth is on fire. It's, it's got chili pepper <laughs> seeds it's on its tongue. To, it's starting to sweat a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's still in character. This, this possum is about to drop a mixtape. It's <laughs> full of hot fire, and and it won't move. It's still dead. So she has. A foot from it. She's still pissed. It won't leave, and she pokes it a couple more times, and it won't leave. So she goes and gets a hotter pepper. This. The regular chili pepper, she get habanero. Enough. No, because that no, was, she's, that was a Mexican. She <laughs> <laughs> it, it obviously <laughs> liked it. It was it was <laughs> yeah. That was a south of the border possum, yes, so it yes. was like you can fuck with no, no, chili been peppers. The peppers anyway. Now he's gonna need habaneros. Yeah, he's gonna need something a little stronger. I'm, get, I'm getting closer to the picture of it. So the seeds um, of of these the peppers. seeds of the chili pepper wasn't hot enough. Right. Well, I'm, it's unfortunate though because don't they come out hotter than they go in? <laughs> Isn't it like a kookaburr when it comes out? No, Hey, it's got to be bad, though. Oh, look at him. He's a cute little devil, isn't he? He's yeah. definitely a Mexican possum. He, lo- he looks kind of mean. He-, <clears throat> he was a little bit pissed off. 
Yeah. So well, anyway, she be real she takes <laughs> in my mouth. So she takes so she takes this other pepper that I can't tell you what it is. Um Oh, it's a legal pepper? I want some. No, but I'll bring you one. Okay. <clears throat> I like illegal herbs and from so the garden. <laughs> she tears she tears this other pepper open and shakes its seeds off in her mouth in the <laughs> possum's mouth and it don't move. So then she's got this chunk of this pepper, right? She puts it in the fucking possum's mouth. What a Jesus. crazy person. <laughs> what kind of crazy don't piss, person? I'm telling you, don't piss her off. <laughs> does she do this to you while you're asleep? I would like, piss her off. Like, if hey. you don't wake up on time on Sunday to hang out with the kids, is she shaking pepper seeds in your yeah. mouth while you're sleeping on the couch? I, I fuck, I hope not. Striking matches off your forehead and shit? Well, she's, <laughs> she's actually learned, you know what? My wife's awesome. She's learned to put up with a lot of shit, just like everybody nope, else. But she ain't putting up with no fucking possum. She's not putting she up, put up, up with a possum. Yeah, she's, so she was probably draws, taking all that shit out. On she the draws. Yeah, she. Line. Yeah, I had already. Yeah, yeah, I had already built up. She had already had yeah, enough built up anger. She yeah. draws the line at yeah. some Mexican possum in her garden. So she takes. <laughs> so she takes a chunk of this pepper and she puts it in the possum's mouth, right? And she rare, she backs up to take another picture of it, and apparently, that pepper was hot enough. And this fucking thing jumps up and hauls ass. So yeah, apparently it did oh, not it like the. It did work. She got the job done. Yeah. Good so job. it didn't like the hotter pepper or whatever it was. But can you imagine? Hey, I chewed her ass. I I did. I chewed her ass. I'm like, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, that Arabian. God knows what that thing's got. got. Yeah, yeah, and my ass is in Okima. I'm two hours from again. home. There he goes with his ass. Yeah, yeah sorry. My bad. Yeah. But I'm... Um, that hey. poor fucking possum. Full-blown 55 mile an hour. He couldn't have got yeah. through faster. It was all... It's, it's governed to 67, <laughs> and it is so damn slow. <laughs> he hey, the car, I, I gotta go, guys. I, I told... Uh, I told... Everybody, everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm coming. 10 I'm speed, speed. 10 speed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you don't clutch between gears. You know, that's not just because truck drivers don't want to do it. That's just the way it works. You let the clutch out the first time, and you better be able to shift. <sighs> that poor so, yeah. possum. God dang, I can't even imagine. How I tried to shoot that son of a bitch oh, last night. It's, it's coming yeah. out. Oh, there you go with ass. See, look, hey. see what happens. You yeah. rub off rub on people. Off on <laughs> Catch, you'd be out there shaking like a dog shitting peach. <laughs> 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 At the edge of the garden. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> that crazy lady fucks me up. Uh, the yeah. bad part is I saved that possum's life like two months before that. It just was so that she could put peppers Well, in I that. had no idea the son of a bitch was going to eat up a whole garden. Otherwise, I'd have just let it drown. So. You got a lot of snakes out there. I do, yeah. yeah. He's you always know. putting snakes and shit in the fucking grill. <clears throat> yeah, Lauren had a video. I was trying to catch one of the black snakes the other day. Oh, and, yeah, you like black yeah, snakes? Then, well, you know. Like Alabama you it's, it's a big old six-footer. Alabama black snakes. <laughs> you watch them black snakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Black snakes, black snakes matter. Two black coo. snakes matter. <laughs> yeah. no, don't talk about no killing no black Damn. <clears throat> yeah, no, my wife got bit by a copperhead out there. Holy fuck. What? A couple of years ago. Well, I say a couple of years ago. Let me back up. That's probably been... 12 years ago, probably. A couple years ago. Couple 12. 12. 12, you know, a couple six, a couple, <laughs> couple, couple half dozens ago. Yeah. So she got bit by a copperhead snake? Yeah. Yeah, that'll cost you 32 grand. Then what'd she do? Put peppers in its mouth? <laughs> no. No. I actually snatched her up. <laughs> Pepper asshole. I snatched her up and put a belt around her leg, threw her ass in the... Did you suck out the poison? No. You know what's really... St- the hospital... So one of the one of the bites had a blister on it, right? And one I, of the bites? Well, you got two fang marks, right? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so um I kept telling them, pop that thing, get the poison out of there. And they're like, no, no, no. You don't want oxygen in it. Like, you don't want oxygen in it. You got fucking poison in there. You know? Yeah, get the poison. Makes sense out, to right? me. Cut that bitch open and get it out of there. Yeah. No, hell no. They want to just give them anti venom and charge you thirty two grand to thirty two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, what? Yeah. What'd they do? Anti venom. That's thirty two thousand dollars. Six rounds of it was, yeah. Monkey, monkey. Don't fuck around. Don't, don't fuck around with the snakes. We need to go. We need to go get a so, copperhead. But now, see, here's the thing that we need to make. Some, that, we need no, to make that's some anti-venom. That's one of the things. That, antidote. Antidote. Yeah, I got, I got an antidote. I wasn't even thinking. You know, I killed twenty of them last year, and I should have caught them and took them you and sold them. Twenty. You're like a copperhead slayer. You're like the copperhead. Slayer? Well, I mean, you know. Are you like a copperhead? I, I would rather I kill them than my kids find them. Yeah, you know, definitely. So, so what do you do? Like, wear, you wear them as necklaces? 
Do no, like, fuck no. Them some bitches will still try and bite. Do you like hang them up on the fence? Twenty minutes. To let everybody know you're a fucking coverhead. No, fucking I throw them. I throw them in the burn pit and burn them. Oh wow! All the anti-venoms, all the anti-venoms are gone. Anti-venoms. Yeah, all the anti-venoms are gone. Hand. Yeah, that was a lot of money that I just killed. You know. Well, you know when I monkey, <laughs> monkey, if you're gonna say something like that, <laughs> monkey, five dollars a piece. Yeah, see, I'll just oh, yeah. cut their heads off. If it's only gonna be five dollars a piece, that's not worth monkey, it. Monkey just let the group here know. He said, "Oh yeah, no, we used to get five dollars a piece for pygmy pygmies when I was a kid." <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck that is. A no, pygmy rattlesnake? I, they're little bitty. They're little yeah, they are. And you used to catch <clears> them, to, and you sold them to who for five dollars a piece? Uh, like the place where you turn in cans and like shit, when they were or what? Dead, you tell them. <laughs> He sold them for five bucks. That dude sold them for two hundred. <laughs> like, they're dead. You would kill them. When they're dead, if they're dead and you kill them, that's not going to do much. They're already oh, dead. No, that's does that make it dead? Uh, dead. Brother's best friend in high school. His dad, uh, he kept snakes and he owned a bunch of, you know, vipers and all kinds of other shit. And he would pay us. That wouldn't be my friend. He'd pay you. He'd pay us for each much. snake that you caught. Well, yeah. And your little crazy ass is running around catching then, venomous snakes for this guy. Well, we just ran across them all the time, so... I feel like this is borderline illegal, what he was doing. <laughs> Sending out children to <laughs> yeah, get right. snakes yeah. money. Yeah. I'll, play, was I'll pay you to go get it. I feel like we shouldn't be talking about this. <laughs> yeah, what's your buddy's dad doing? Yeah, somebody's going to need an address. And <laughs> I feel like he wouldn't be my buddy. Yeah. Man, that's kind of scary. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but she lived. Yeah. Yeah, she was fine. Thirty-two thousand dollars later. Yeah, thirty-two thousand dollars later. Yeah, see, we made this stupid decision. We had insurance. Get the to do no to do Uh, away. (laughs) 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 To do away with it. (laughs) That was yeah. My wife's gonna not have. She's not gonna be happy with you. I just asked. Yeah. (laughs) No, we made it. We made a stupid decision. Decision to pay that thirty-two thousand dollars. You saved your life. Like six. Like six months before that, we decided we hadn't used the health insurance since we got it. So, what the hell are we wasting the money on? We had spent like thirty thousand dollars in health insurance that we hadn't used. So we're like, we can just start putting it back, you know, and mm-hmm. then if you break it on, we got cash, right? Yeah. It, yeah, it wasn't six and months he, later. It cost me 32 grand. Oh, so now so, you're 62 grand in the hole because of your stupid decision. I wasted the money because I didn't use it, and then I quit I feel like you giving them the money. And, or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it would have been a couple of days, we probably could have, but Mayer's six months. Always you know. a day late. Hey, I'm, I'm talking about short. on the way to the hospital. I'd have been calling, getting that insurance. Oh, you know what they wanted me to do? Hey, I called, I called, I called, uh, I called the hospital. To let them know we were coming. Right? I'm like, pull over. Wait on an ambulance. I'm like, nah, bullshit. It's gonna take 20 minutes for an ambulance to find us, and then an, I'll be there by the time the ambulance gets here. So yeah, it's, yeah. They wanted you to pull over. Yeah, absolutely. Because I was running 90 mile an hour down the highway, oh, talking on the phone in that Beaver truck. No, no it, was in my, it was in my Dodge. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I I figured out you just... you you really you can't force that. What? The truck shifting gears. You can't hammer it and make it. You can't work it faster. You've got to let it go through its pace. Well, Otherwise, you start grinding now. gears yeah. and it pisses it off. One of these days, you'll have one of those one of pulling your gonna, stacker trailer. Yeah, one of these days, I'll have a <clears throat> Beaver Express van. I advise you get one with airbag suspension, not that spring shit. <laughs> it's pretty rigid, man, yeah. Oh, I feel like we could be here for days listening <clears throat> yes. to Dominate. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was the finish of the possum thing? Did you get rid of him? No, I tried to shoot that son of a bitch last night, and by the time I got back out there with my pistol, he was gone. So now I'm just oh, going to pack the pistol. you seen him again last night? Yeah. And he went out there with the pistol, and he was out of there? Yeah. He's afraid she's going to come out there and give him the hot peppers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now my wife's been gone for two weeks, so, you know, Whoa. he's all there. comfortable. You piss her off? You get her mom's or something? I piss her off every day. She is at her mom's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, you get your shit figured out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Call me when you, you and you and your street me. racing buddies get your shit figured out. Call, call me back. Miles. Call me when you get your shit figured out. Yeah, pretty much. No, it's nothing like that. So it's, what have you been doing up there for two weeks? <laughs> running around in your underwear, hunting possums and yeah, snakes and shit like a fucking. Bat. Step out on the back porch in your underwear, piss with a gun, shoot a bird. You know, whatever. Shoot you a do. bird. Crows. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad luck. 
That's bad luck. Yeah, no, hey, no I don't. Bad luck in that. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you know what? You I'm guys are to... shot monkey. Endless. It's Endless. infinity, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and Justin is by far way more than me. Yeah, I've heard stories that you and your brother literally killed more crows than anyone in the world. Probably, but that's how we made our living. You know, they tried crows. to... You get five dollars for a crow? You made a fucking living killing crows? No, well, he was they... nine. <laughs> well, what else was he gonna do? Yeah, you, know? you, can, only, you can only find so many snakes. <laughs> you know, they uh, they, they were really hard on our pecan trees, and yeah, that you know, was the only the only way to get rid of them. You just kill them all. Well, kill one, and then you bait them, and then you wait until they. Yeah, no, them. no. Okay, yeah. Hang on here, Dominator. I mm. probably need to hear this, Monkey. Get closer to the microphone. Please tell these guys how you would get the other crows. So you're, but you tell me that your goal is to get rid of the crows, but you shoot but one you try and to all draw the, them in. Hang on, you shoot one of the crows, all the rest of the crows fly off. Then what did you do? Once the crows were gone, then what did you do? Tell tell us that. Well, Get no, closer you, to the mic here. You have to you have to either hang them on the fence, you know, that way they're they're you know the ones that didn't really die off the bat. They hang and they'll they'll distress call, or they'll what? They'll distress and they'll they'll. Call. So you wound the crow, hang him from the fence, and mm-hmm. let him distress call to bring all his buddies back so that you can kill them. Yeah. yeah. Or if you you know kill the first one. You, if you can actually you can, kill him and he's dead. Just point yeah, he just accidentally. You, 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 didn't, you didn't accidentally. He didn't make it out alive. You didn't wing him. You so killed him. You can actually <laughs> squeeze their breasts and they will they will still call. The, the air <laughs> they will the they, they will still breathe in. So you're telling me that it's you like would a hold a dead crow and and <gasps> give it and you would give it <laughs> that's CPR actually exactly how it works. You would give it chest compressions and make it call to other crows to get them to come back looking for the dead crow that and then you would kill all of his buddies. Well, yeah, and then eventually you have a couple of live ones that you hang from the fence, and then they do the job for you. Then you have a gaggle. You just sit back with a gun, huh? Same. Well, because, you know, it's not easy pushing on the chest of a dead bird. Yeah, so you it's don't work. Wanna, it's hard work. Well, it's work. Because then you got to drop it, pick up your gun whenever his buddy's coming. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough time. <laughs> This is two man operation. <laughs> Somebody's choking his two men and one dead crow. Yeah. If you got two men, one dead crow, you got many of dead crow. You got, got a party. <laughs> then it's a party. Have a whole I gaggle of dead crows. What kind of fucking childhood monkey and McDougal actually had? Know. You know what I mean? I like they're, so, they're young kids selling pygmy. Just for the record, man, I don't. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's normal stuff. Normal stuff. So it's country Justin, shit. I asked Justin about the the uh, Copperhead deal and. His wife, Chandra, actually got bit on the pinky by the copper. Chandra, our number one Chandra, fan. Chandra, number one. Oh, old, old, old Chandra. Chandra. Oh, oh. no D. So, <laughs> their, their bill for the anti-venom was 180K. 180, 180,000. Yep. 180,000. So I got off good, huh? She got bit on the pinky. On the pinky. I'd have lopped it off. Yep. Just, what? Well, free. <laughs> Put it up here on the Yeah. And then, I'd hung it on the, and then I'd have hung it on the fence and maybe a distress call and bring in more Chandras. Yep. <laughs> That's all he needs. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's scary. Yeah, that you had figured this out, that you could chest compression a dead bird and get it to call for its buddies. Well, we didn't have a lot to do. What's well, no different than fighting chickens? <laughs> than what? Fighting chickens. You know, they get the gaffs and they get stuck. Them dudes pick them up and blow in the hole. Like if they got stabbed in the top of the head and they're dead or not able to fight, they'll pick it up and put their mouth on the head of that chicken and blow in it. So that it fills the damn thing up with oxygen again, and he'll fight more. It's brutal, and you know if you've never seen that, you really don't no, want to watch. I, I have the never seen that. Will keep fighting. Yeah, the fuck yeah, well. We used to have a lot of pheasants, and they would they no, would it's kill each other, and I mean, we had a lot of birds, <laughs> and we had a dog that killed a lot of them. Pheasants killed pheasants, and but your brother killed dogs of new people that moved into Little Axe. Well, if they pissed him off. Oh man, that's brutal. I'm telling you. This is a weird family we're talking about here. That's that's not cool. Wow. I mean, that's bad. If Dominator says it's <coughs> fucked up, if Dominator says it's fucked up. Then hey, no, I'm yeah. telling you, that's yeah. That, <laughs> what that dog do to you, man? Uh, he didn't do it. Monkey didn't. I do didn't it. do it. No, Monkey just drug him out into the put him on the porch. You <laughs> 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 Monkey two man operation. <laughs> you gotta bait him first. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bait. You gotta bait him in. <laughs> He's the one pushing on the German Shepherd's chest. Mark, 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 mark. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> God damn. Oh, that was, that was oh, that is messed yeah. up. This one, now we're... Here, puppy, puppy, listeners. puppy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Bing! 
eighth of listeners. Yeah, holy shit. Oh, God. Somebody's gone like dogs, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> and snakes and, yeah. and crows. Not. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, God. I went to one chicken fight, and I'll never go again. One cock fight, that was... That was... Well, hey, what... Well, it's just it's what that's you, actually hey, on, what were you expecting to see that you didn't see? You know what? Um, what fun kind of entertainment were you expecting that I, you didn't get? I it okay. just didn't deliver. No, no. Well, <clears throat> it just kind of happened. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. Hey, pizza. It wasn't, pizza. Pizza. It wasn't something. It wasn't something I intended on going to. It was just you know. Oh, they drug you and threw you in the back of a van. Yeah, I mean they said, and everything. Does this smell like? Carburetor cleaner, and the next thing I know, I wake up in the trunk of a car. Yeah. No, it, <clears throat> yeah. The <laughs> Yeah. It says ice cream on the side of it. Yeah. No, it's it just kind of spurred the moment it happened. And. Spur. Spur. Yeah. 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 No pun intended. No pun <laughs> <laughs> Gaffs on a chicken. You ever seen that shit? Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's kind of. It, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't dig it. I didn't dig it My at all. My wife has a chicken that I hate. Yeah, and I wish should. that I knew somebody that had you, a chicken because I could take their chick that chicken and bring it over. Yeah, you put and a, kill my chicken. You put a real cockfighting rooster with it, and it will beat the yeah. shit out of that this chicken. This chicken's a bully, man. He tries to stab me and shit whenever yeah. I'm walking out back. The spurs Blow on the, the sides. Yep. Yeah. Blow a hole in its head, well, and then, then blow it still it full of oxygen. It still lived. Yeah, get it to run around that crazy. Well, the dog got a hold of it the other day, and I thought, yes, I can tell you how to get rid of that chicken. Lived. He grab it by its head and just spin that some bitch around. It'll pop its neck, and you. Damn. That's how they used to do it where I'm well, from. I don't, yep. I don't, I don't like know. Like starting an old it, tractor. You know? Yeah. Just yeah one they, quick they time. Say, they say, yep. you do that. It's like starting an Alice channel. <laughs> I mean, it's I done. don't really want to kill it. It's not going to hurt my feelings if it dies. Right. Yeah. But, huh. you know, it yeah. works on all kinds of animals. He cock a doodle doo and all. <laughs> <laughs> like, full blown, four, yeah. five, six o'clock <clears> in the morning. <throat> it doesn't matter. You yeah. should get another chicken and let monkey kill it and then hold it across the street <laughs> and make it give distress calls to get yours to cross the street and get hit by a car. Yeah. And then or we say, least. why'd the chicken cross the road? Because monkey was on the other side of the <laughs> monkey. Yeah, because monkey was on the other side. <laughs> distress call him over there. <laughs> monkey monkey called chicken going, there. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> I'm distressed. Yeah. And my chicken goes strutting across the street. <laughs> have Kentucky fucking come by and run over him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three-man job right <laughs> <laughs> We got you. <laughs> uh, now we just got to find another chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Yeah, I highly recommend that you don't go to that. That's no, we it's used brutal. to fight chickens where I was from, and it was ridiculous. <clears throat> it was nonstop. I wasn't there. Branded. I wasn't there three minutes, and a little seven or eight year old kid come running up, wanted to bet on the next chicken fight, and I'm like, Yeah. And I lost. Yep. What was this in Juarez or something? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't have a clue. I you don't. Know you you no, I have no clue. We were <clears throat> Beaver Express. Well, you know, I mean, we were <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. It, no, we were. I don't even honestly know how where I was at. We were somewhere having a good time. <laughs> That's a <how> hog. <laughs> and somebody said, "Hey, there's a there's cock a fight there's here. a cock you, fight you, going you, on." The cock fight you was expecting. No, it wasn't bumping uglies. So <laughs> <laughs> we were full blown chickens. Who knew? Domino's looking around, going, "God damn it! I thought there was a cock fight." Was <laughs> 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 so, so the cocks next or what? Domino <laughs> 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 shows up in his drawers, yeah. sword in his hand, ready. I'm ready for the cock. Yeah, all right. yeah. Where's them some yeah, bitches at? Where I, where we lived in Corbin, Kentucky, and shit. They used to fight them there all the time. They'd fight them at the Pay Lake or at the flea market, and. You just show up and there's like, you know, there's a, you know, that they're fighting chickens out there because there'd be like 400 blue barrels cut in half laid over. And that's where the fighting chickens lived. And my neighbor that I, where I live now used to fight chickens <clears throat> and God damn, those things were noisy in the middle of the night, you know? And, uh, he had a bunch of them back there and he used to fight them in his backyard where I live now. It's hood on the South side of Mustang. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? The South side of 152's hood. And, uh, that's what I've heard. He moved out. He moved out, thank God, or he, you know, something happened to him. I don't know. He went away, <laughs> so he's gone. <laughs> and thank God, because all the chickens finally left too. No, I mean, when he left, he left all the chickens. So there was just chickens oh damn, everywhere. yeah. And it was a he'd lose a chicken every once in a while. Man, every once in a while they'd every once in a while one of them motherfuckers would get over in your while, yard and it'd be gone. <laughs> every once in a while they'd R U N N O F T. <laughs> yeah. And they'd say, "You seen that chicken? No, I ain't seen him in a while." <laughs> of course, my dog's got feathers flying out of his mouth, you know, so. And they, believe it or not, good fighting chickens are about 11 bucks nowadays. Because that's what, he'd come over and tell me, like, you owe me $11 for that $11. chicken. $11. Your dog killed. Damn. Not that he was sad or anything, but that was an $11 chicken. 
he's out eleven bucks. So plus it's feed. And I and then I would say, well, how much money do you owe me for water? Because you have a hose going into my well and an extension cord to the side of my house. He <laughs> would say, oh, you know about that. <laughs> And then he'd get drunk and shoot a hole in my pool. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Got all your water now. It's hood. Yeah, it's hood. I'll, I'll show you water. Yep. Boom. So <clears throat> I feel like we got off topic here, guys. Yeah, that was a little bit of a yeah. tangent. Um, <laughs> we're filming. We're still filming. We are. Like, still. Uh, I just want to let you guys know that, um, and all of our listeners, that the show that we're not allowed to talk about on the network, we don't talk about with Street? all the people oh, that we don't oh. talk about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got another season. Yeah what i heard sweet i heard we got another season i heard we start filming right away yeah so no break like, for you guys like no three, break like roll seven. right out of eight into nine. Oh wait i'm not supposed to say that am i of what season <laughs> <laughs> what are you not supposed to say dumb what are you talking about? <clears throat> well what are you talking about what are you talking about <laughs> i'm not no, sure i just now. heard a rumor i heard a rumor uh, right before i walked in here that we are uh, well, we, we're looking at another season. Well, Dad Gum is the number one. Number one, number one baby. I mean, yeah, like this, dude. All the way to the top. I, I, I do this a lot, though. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, they really right see this number one, Dominic. Yeah, yeah. every channel. One, mm. <laughs> see, yeah, one one of these days. Dominator's got to hold up two hands to say the That is fucked up. Dominator's holding you? The number, 11, the number 11. 11 sticks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Discovery Channel released a uh, press release here that says Discovery Channel still leading the ratings with Street Outlaws, Deadliest Catch, Alaskan Bush People, and more. Fans of Discovery Channel programming will no doubt not be surprised by this news. After wrapping up the second quarter, driven by a strong lineup of both returning and all-new series, Discovery continues to dominate the ratings. Dominate. Dis- dominate. Mm-hmm. Discovery <laughs> Discovery continues to Joe Woods the ratings. There you go. <laughs> Discovery retains its spot at the top by wrapping the second quarter with the most watched ever. The network owned more top ten unscripted cable series than any other network across the board, including the top five. Discovery also claimed Cable's number one unscripted series across five nights of the week ever. June also was Discovery's highest rated June ever in the history of the world. Discovery also reports. Of the world, man. The world. Of the world, Craig. Discovery also. (laughs) (laughs) They need need street outlaws in the world, Craig. Street outlaws. Number one in the world, Craig. Uh, Discovery also reports that the network had its second highest rated second quarter and first half of the year ever among adults and men, as well as its most watched ever total viewers and highest rated June ever with adults. Among them, Discovery owns seven of the top ten unscripted cable series, including the top five series during the second quarter, leading the pack. Was Street Outlaw hmm. number people. one unscripted <clears throat> as part of the network's Motor Monday lineup. In it was- fact, along with Street Outlaws, Motor Mondays had three of the top series among males twenty five through fifty four. With Street Outlaws, New Orleans, and Misfit Garage coming in not number one. Yes, we'll say. or two, and or then three, it shows a picture, four. and then it actually shows a picture of my crow. It did the OG car, and it says really? the new four hundred five era is beginning with the crow mod. Other Discovery Channel series rounding out top shows on cable included. Listen to this lineup. These are the people that they've lumped in with us right now. It's yeah. a Street Outlaws number one. Okay, we're this, above. This now says other Discovery Channel series rounding out the top shows on cable. So this is like the Dude. rest of the team. Yeah, like the know, also the Discovery like team. When they, the- they say Michael Jordan, <clears throat> and then they go, and also and Scotty Pippen. <laughs> <and then, yeah. laughs> this is the also yeah. participate. <laughs> <laughs> Brand two yeah. award. <laughs> you got a purple ribbon. <laughs> It says, other Discovery Channel series rounding out the top shows on cable included Deadliest Catch number two. Wow. That heard that show? Wow. Ever heard of that one? Ever heard of it? I, Alaskan I, Bush People number three. Naked and Afraid number four. Street Outlaws New Orleans number five. Bering Sea Gold number seven. And Misfit Garage number eight. Doesn't even mention Fast and Loud. The network dominated across cable amongst males 23 through 54 and males 18 to 49 across five nights of the week. So basically, thanks to Street Outlaws, Discovery Channel's killing it. Street Holy shit! Outlaws. So yeah. we're not going anywhere. Yeah, we're not, going? not anytime we're soon. Top baby, we're staying on the top. We're dominant <clears throat> one, number eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that was shitty. <laughs> hey, this list is fast, man. I feel like hey. you know, if with, with the car that I got right now, I'll be fortunate to be number eight. <laughs> I'll be um. Happy. <laughs> I still feel like I'm going to be in the top five, though. It's weird, though, because we have so many episodes in the bag, right? Like, 
I thought that for sure that with all the shows that are on Monday, all the new shows that are Monday night, the Diesel Boys and the you know what? and the other street racing show that's supposed to be out of New Orleans, but they're not. None of them are from New Orleans. No. And they don't actually even race in New Orleans recru- anymore. Recruiting new people too. Is they what don't I even race in New Orleans anymore. Well, they so crashed. Like, they crashed, crashed three that. last weekend. Yeah. Well, I mean. That's why they got to recruit new people all the time. Yeah. And that's why none of those guys have ever been friends more than about six months because one of them, they crash, they go back to the oil field, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Or out, on, or out on a boat, yeah. in the, in, you know, for the oil field. Offshore. Off, off, offshore rigging stuff. So it really should be, I think it should be called straight out with Mississippi or Arkansas or something because I heard they race in Arkansas a lot. Really? They're racing each other. Like, it's a weird deal. But anyway. And yeah, why don't they race in Mississippi? I don't, I think they're trying to now, but it's street outlaws, mm. New Orleans. And it says that they race in New Orleans or they're from New Orleans, but they're neither. Yeah, how did it become New Orleans? Was there one of them? Well, New Orleans sounds better than yeah, well, we Missouri. Mi- Jackson. Mississippi? Jackson, Mississippi. Street, street Jackson. Jackson. Oh, Mississippi. <laughs> 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 it's just, okay, it's that's just valid. I, I get street it. Outlaws, New Orleans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Street Outlaws, the Delta. <laughs> Delta Street Racers. Uh, haven't been able to race in four weeks because of rain. <laughs> <laughs> the show uh, gets... Muddy mess. <laughs> damn. God damn. Gumbo mud. Lost two racers to quicksand. <laughs> oh, fuck. So, damn. anyway... Um, you know, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but I was told that we were going to have a while because of all the new shows popping up. But then I think with our ratings doing so well this last go around, you want to get some more in the bag. I think they're uh, they're interested in getting some stuff going on pretty quick from the rumors that I've heard. So expect us to be filming for a while, a while. Well, uh, a while. That's good and while. bad. No, it is. It's good. Yeah, so but it's got um, its bad just to side let too. you guys know, all the podcast listeners, Damn. kinds of people listening. We'll be back on Sh- Tuesday. Shoot hey. us an email. <clears throat> shoot us an email that sh- shows us, because we still have yet to do this. We still have yet to get any of this. Shoot us an email that shows you and your buddies street racing on the street. Yes. Not at a no prep. On the street. Show us you got some fast shit on the street, and we're going we're gonna to do a world tour here. Mm-hmm. We're just going to go out and gap, gap everybody. So shoot us an email midway. No? no, not that one. God Don't do that. Damn one. It. You went and screwed that one up. Hold on, guys. That one's inactive. Yeah, that one's that one's inactive. too much traffic. Shoot it to Phantom, the producer with big balls at, <laughs> at uh, CowboyButtsDriveMeNuts dot com. <laughs> Holy shit! What, what, I'll make an email up. What we, what oh, uh, you're gonna make one up? I want to race dot com. Put, uh, let's do. Uh, let's do. I street. I am street at gmail dot com. Okay. You haven't even looked. Yeah, how you gonna look? How you gonna take <laughs> You better. You better hope that. I tell you what. I tell you what. We're gonna give it to you. We're gonna give it to you. We don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna have you. You're gonna email us. Checking it out. Email us a link to or actual original content of you street racing or your buddy street racing with something fast and a street that you street race on. Yeah. An actual street. Not yeah. the return road of a track. Yeah, not the other end of a track. Not yeah. a not an airport. After that, man, you know, we'll, we'll come, make it happen. And then you know, gather up all the money. We're gonna come to you. Yeah. I, you know, that there's a couple of negatives to what we have done. I really get tired of answering the question of how much do they prep the road before you start. We don't. Holy now, New Orleans shit. does quite a bit, but we don't. New Orleans. Now, I've heard New Orleans does a lot of the they drink drag or they drag the road and stuff. I've heard because they race on some shitty ass roads down there, but. In Mississippi or wherever, but uh, but we don't. Uh, okay, put fucking four hundred five <clears throat> call out. Somebody has said in a room four hundred five call out. Good four hundred five call out at gmail dot com. Yeah, there you go. Email us four hundred five call out at gmail dot com. We'll come to you. Um, also, I know on our list right now of people that we're looking at that actually street race uh, based on our limited experience with YouTube is. Milwaukee's got a decent scene going. I've seen some fast cars up there. I've seen some good roads, really good roads, like nice streets that they race on. So we're looking to put something together from Milwaukee, um, Louisville, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Um, I know there was a tragic death uh, last weekend of Art McMahon, a big uh, name in the racer scene out there. We're sorry to hear about that. We had talked to him a little bit about racing him. 
he was very excited to race us on the street and he was involved in a boating accident him and his wife and they both perished in the accident it's sad to say so thoughts are with them and their families but um so louisville's gonna louisville's gonna be we're gonna try and get something going on with with the 502 um it's been a while since i've heard from them i'm actually from louisville but i used to keep up with all their craziness and they used to come here in street race they used to come yeah. here and race us for real you know the kentucky boys remember they had the all-wheel drive talons and they had the blue chevelle they called uh slow slow motion who was the guy that showed up the first cash days with that silver camaro was he from kentucky six silver 69 camaro it blew the tire off right on the hit but in texas oh, the one yeah too, with the all the kit just on a small tire with the Lico in it yeah oh yeah was he from Kentucky? He was from out of no, state. He's from Shreveport. He's from Shreveport. He's from Shreveport. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, Shreveport's another city. You know, we're looking, looking at, looking at anything, anywhere. I mean, Louisville, um, Indianapolis. I've seen some decent streets in Indianapolis. I haven't found any fast cars in Indianapolis yet, but I've seen some decent streets. Um, uh, we, we obviously want to go see Petey yes. up, in, up in New York. Yes, but, for sure. Um, but just hit me up. I mean, if you got a spot, uh, St. Louis. Um, I've got, I've been talking to some guys from St. Louis. They got a few cars. They're ready to get down. Um, they want to come here or us go there. We tried to get down with St. Louis once before I had a race locked in for myself and a red Mustang from there and couldn't make it happen. Cops everywhere, rain, everything else you can think of. Yeah. But, uh, but I think we're, I think we're about ready to stop list racing for a while and go do some out of town stuff, but we got to find people to race. Obviously I want to go back to Cali. You know, always Bodie and his crew are st- as they're stepping their games up for a sure, bunch, for you know? sure. And you know, un- unlike all the other guys who like to street race on television, we really, really, really would rather race real guys who'll put them in the real street. You yeah, know I mean? and that's one thing about <clears throat> Bodie. You can't talk shit about Bodie because damn sure do he it. unloaded that bitch right in the middle of Fifth and Main. You know, he what I mean, one hundred thirty fifth and Main in Compton, and he was ready to get down. Yep. So. Bodie's Bodie's legit, you know, the lunchy and all them, they're all legit. You know, Tony, everybody, everybody in California is still legit. You know what I mean? Um, yep. Yeah. The gypsy boys are out racing every fucking yeah. weekend. And we still keep in touch with, uh, Tom Izzy's tuner, you know, yep. Tom, and, and his son, they're awesome people to us. And we still keep in touch with the scene over there. And so I'm looking to make another trip to Cali, man. I'm looking to get it on. I'm looking to, I'm looking to, to take this, you know, now that, you know, the whole goal here was to make the list <clears throat> as fast as we can, right? And then go kick everybody's ass. Well, I ass. think that we've, I think we're pretty much there. You know, yeah, we're getting close that, here. So now I think it's time that we take this little deal on the road and find out, you know, because I believe that as a group, no one can touch us. And they never have been able, no one's ever been able to touch us as a group and never will be able to touch us as a group. Yeah, there's cities out there with a fast guy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like uh, you know, whatever one or two here and there. that is. You know, Kai Kelly's fast. Yeah. But, you know, I mean... Really, it's as a group, guy. as a group, they don't have much. You know what I mean? So well, we've outrun everybody else that they have. Right. So it's it's just one of those things where it's like I'm looking for fast groups of street racers. You know what I mean? And you know they don't even have to be that fast if the road is challenging. You know, look at look at Vegas. Yeah, yeah. It's on a shitty road. Yeah, yeah. holy look shit. Vegas. Vegas wasn't the best part of an episode because the guys were so cool and they were so laid back and they were so into racing that they didn't they weren't about the hustle. They just wanted to race, right? Yep. But look at that episode as far as those cars were not supposed to be as fast as ours. No, I got They weren't. They weren't. But, they weren't. But on their their type of road, it wasn't even really their road, but on their type of road, they shined. Yeah. You know what I mean? They did yeah. really well. And that's, dude, that says something. You know what I mean? So it doesn't even have to be that fast to guys as long as the road is challenging enough and that, you know, we're racing on their home turf. I don't mind it, you know. But <clears throat> here's the other thing. After my crash, street. After my crash, I'm a little sketch. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna think twice before I go up against some guy who doesn't have any street experience. Yeah. Because at every no prep, there's a new group of track guys that that roll their shit and hit and hit somebody else and tear their shit up. Yeah. So, nice cars. Tear uh, tear nice cars. Hundred twenty thousand dollar car. I can't right tear my nice car up. You know what I mean? I yeah. can't. I mean, I can't tear it up right now. I'm if I if this car gets tore up, I'm done for a long time, if not forever. So. Not just that, but I don't know if my body can take much more of what I keep putting it through. So, you know, like, especially with all the drugs and stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they make you sad. moody. You're not going to quit doing that. No, I'm They not. make and you moody, honestly, too. Yeah. They make you moody. I've always been moody, <laughs> which means I've always been on drugs. <laughs> um, 
but you know, there's a lot of towns out there that we want to we want to go see. You know, what I mean, Detroit obviously can hold their own. You know, they got they got a group. I mean, dude, that fuck. I need a guy, rematch. Um, Johnny Quick, John Quick. Yep. Yeah. His that shit, dude's car's fast. His shit's legit. And yeah. Street. Yeah. Legit yeah, street. So I was told there was two actual street racers that we ran that night, and it was him and Motor City Jimbo. The, I've heard. The, but the Mustang that I ran and that was and, Motor City Jimbo. Yeah. Yeah. They, they won. They won their races. But but you all you can't say that Brian Davis ain't street. No no no. Because he, he raced <clears throat> Kai Kelly illegally on a dark road yep. in an in, you know in Oklahoma somewhere the night before a filming for money. Yeah, so you can't say that Brian Davis won't street. No, nope. and Davis he was out street. testing his ass off before yeah. all that. Too. Brian yeah. Davis will street. Have yeah. you seen his new car? Yeah. Yes, it's pretty wicked. Yeah, RJ did a beautiful chassis, and so did, and Team Z finished it from what I heard. Yep. Yeah, so he's not messing you around. That's a, Brian Davis that's a nice street, car. But you know, Johnny Quick, Motor City Jimbo, guys like them. I mean, dude, you if. If Detroit was to put two or three more guys together with the same group they brought last time, if they were to put two or three more heavy hitting street dudes in that mix, it'd be you're talking about a group that rivals us very closely. Yeah. There's no one that's ever been that close. You know what I mean? And then look at Bodie's new guys. You know what I mean? Before Cali was all about the gypsies down south and then the AV boys up north. Well, Bodie's putting together a whole different thing. Like Bodie's got big tire cars with 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 forced induction. You know, Bodie's twin Bodie's turbo got, Hemis. Yeah, Bodie's Holy five shit! Five and six cars together that <clears throat> that will rival our type of cars. Now, whether or not they can get down on the street, we don't know yet. But they're trying. They're out testing. Yeah, you know what I mean, they're doing it. So Cali, Detroit, you know, guys like that, they could put they could stumble across the right combination of cars here and yep. and rival us. You know, Heavy. and that's that's what I want, man. Yeah. I want to know if there's somebody out there that's faster than us. I want to know, man, you know, not one guy or whatever. Or some guy beats us in a grudge race or at cash days or yeah. whatever. Like I want to know like <clears throat> which group is collectively the fastest. And right now I know that's us, but, but we're getting closer. You know what I yeah. mean? Like Detroit could put something together. Dallas back then, back in the day, DFW had the right combination. Yep. You know what I mean? They had Taz or they had, well, actually they had Ronnie Pace, white boy, those two there. I mean, you got Ronnie Pace and White Boy from the from the same city. That was hard to touch. It's hard yeah. to beat their group. And Stealth and then, Car yeah. was always pretty. You fast. had Stealth Car. You had Boosted. You know, you had um, Student, Student Driver. Driver you know, always had yeah. something fast. And you had the dude with the orange Mustang. You had uh, Taz. You know, they had a legit group of guys that could street. What happened yeah. to them, man? They haven't progressed. You know what I mean? Yeah, they haven't progressed. That man has progressed, but. Not on the street. No, nah, and like and his car has. He's a lot. he's gotten faster, but not on the street. You're right. You know, he's tried. Yes. You know, but but it takes a set. it takes a group. That's what I'm saying. It, That's what it I'm takes saying. a group. It takes a group. Well, yeah, if you don't have anybody to push you, yeah, exactly. You stay the same. Yeah. yeah. That's what were, happened to Ronnie. That's what happened to Ronnie and White Boy because in their hometown, who are they gonna race every weekend that matters? You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they're not gonna, gonna want to race each other so all the time. We pushed each other to get as fast as what we Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at my pile of shit. Uh, hey, it was. I mean, look at it where it is now compared to where it was. It's all of ours. It's the yeah. same. All of them. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think that we're getting close to having some groups of street racers here that, that we could actually have some back and forth from. I mean, you know, what's going to happen when we see the day that a group does outrun us? You know what I mean? What happens then? Do they take our show and give it to them? You know what I mean? Like, what happens? Are they cool? You know, I mean, they're. Not as cool sure. as we are, man. No, they're faster than us, maybe. Well, but they, maybe. <laughs> they ain't as cool as us. But um, the other downfall, you know, like right now, we're filming constantly, so you don't have you don't have the opportunity to make major changes. Make major changes. Nope. Well, and we're beating up on our cars. I mean, there is a, a another side to that is we're getting data and stuff, but man, we're just constantly beating the shit out yeah. of our cars. And we're and we're changing our cars to one road that we race on every weekend. Yep. We go out of town right now and get put on a shit road. I said we're that fucked. I said that last week as we're a matter fucked. of fact. After after I went out and made because, you know, I didn't want I will not show up anymore untested. It's not happening. And we went out and the night before my stupid wheelie episode, um we went out and made three hits on the road that very much so mimics i found a road that mimics okima it's got a bump i mean it's literally just like the left lane and my car didn't pick the left front tire up two inches and it squalled tires and went down through there chirping the whole way and i knew 
that was about all I was going to be able to put to it. And then we show up out there and it was so damn sticky that boom. Yep. So yeah, when you show up on a road with all that, you know, everybody's got data and tune ups for that. And you show up on something like what's right out here. And that's all these guys that got new cars. Yeah. That's the pedal, 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 pedal. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be, well, I, don't even, I mean, it, I don't even have anything. It's going to be pedal, yeah. pedal, pedal. And that's, yeah. Um, it's just so loose. It just me. I think it's going to be, uh, <clears throat> I think it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be fun either way. It's yeah. Be fun. I'm just ready to go out of town. So fucking bad, man. I need a couple more passes bad. before we go out of town because I can't be going out of town with me being as low on the list as I am. So I need to get back up there where I need to be. Well, you also yeah. have to remember like when choosing groups of people for out of town, you have to choose them for the town. You have to choose them for the road. You have to choose them for the guys we're going to be racing. And there's a lot of guys on the list right now that are fast and they're way up the list that can't make more than one pass in a night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't, I can't have somebody. And that, that's going to be a big factor. I can't have some somebody show up that can't test. That's not going to be able to make more than one hit in a night. You know what I mean? Like what if, what if you got to make two like you did in Vegas? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. That's, if you go out there and make one pass and tear it up or one pass and you won't race again or one pass and your next pass is shit or your first pass is shit but your next pass is good, like, I can't have... Yep, got to have I mean? consistency. I got to have somebody can come out there and make hits Yep, and go fast every lick, you know? So we have guys that, that are like that and we have some guys that aren't. So it's tough to pick the right guys because you can't just take them one, two, three, four, five off the list because, you know, you got a couple of guys in there that... that you can't always... You can't do that. No, you can't. And sometimes you're going places where you don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like you're going somewhere where we're going to need Jeremy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. We're going to need that. We're going to need that win. Just like even you though take Shane a guy was like, down at the bottom, we take him out of town. Yeah. Because yep. he'd go fucking A to B. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, I, I, it's going to be interesting. Um, it's cool that we're killing it. It's cool that people like us. It's cool that people think what we're doing is cool. Uh, we just got to, uh, well, we think it's cool. We got to stay hungry. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We got to stay hungry. Cause man, a group, you get like, complacent. Hey, a group like Detroit, they put the right two cars together with that other group that they brought. And you're talking about an ass whipping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So we, we got to stay hungry. Yeah. You know, and we can't just be like, Hey, we got these badass cars on this badass road. We're going to stay hungry on every road. Cause yep. we're not going to have that road for long. You know what I mean? You never know what's going to happen. So <laughs> anyway, um, I think we're going to call this one. Yeah. One more thing. Yep. Right here to your right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I know what that is. We haven't had a guest uh, in so no. long. I want to take the fifth. Not, <laughs> not a guest that, that, that hadn't been here. <laughs> oh, damn. We haven't guest in so long. Uh, this list is so cool, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some of that I don't want to answer. Yeah, you're going to, though. Because <laughs> you're a nice guy. Oh, man. You know what? Hey, get, treat people the way you want to be treated, right? I do. But that's yeah. <laughs> all right. Hit me with them. Um, carburetor or fuel injected? Fuel injected. Fuel injected. I love it. Hey, uh, I I do want to. I want to. Can I reiterate on something from back in the learning curve of fuel injection? Sure. You know, I got. We got time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just doing our top 10 questions which is so yeah hey, i'm just gonna interrupt okay. it you're, you're um, okay we yeah so for the blue apron thing yeah so you know there was some comments made back in the past about how i needed to work on um getting my car up on the training brake because my fuel injection sucked and it wasn't working right for the record that was me and my foot pedaling it it wasn't that my car wouldn't get up on the brake i didn't want to just jump on the brake and sit there with it popping and banging because i got this theory of the Did you say that shit you don't know what i'm talking about no oh idea. man yeah jerry was really mad with me yeah because my car wouldn't get up on the well okay so I, i'm not I'm i not jerry i know you're not but I want this out there because yes, it's, so it's oh, frustrating for me. Jerry, oh, then. so it's not to us. No, it's not. No, it wasn't okay, pointed at anyone. Yeah, no, it's saying there's just been. I thought about, your car yeah. always went up good yeah, on the brakes. There was there's been comments break. made because I was trying to learn, right. you know, and w once it wouldn't get up on the brake at all, and that really was my fault because I put too much fuel in it in the coolant side because I wanted it to warm up faster. Um, so I had I had learning curve issues where I screwed shit up, but you know when okay. Yeah, well, hey, it bothers me. 
I can't just leave shit alone. Now that you clear it. And, and, and now everybody else understands. <laughs> and that's why you listen to our show, because you get the real story. You get the facts. You get nothing but the facts nothing from Dominator. Hey. facts from Dominator here. Now, hey, it is what it is. Does else feel like that was a text message that we don't understand? <laughs> no, I, I there you go. That. Now you got it. So, All right. Number yeah. 10. Carbureted or fuel injected? Fuel injected. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Number nine. Farm trucker Asian. Oh, man. They're both all right. They're both cool. Farm trucker, uh, Asian. I can't do that. Oh man, we're gonna be here a while. Yeah. Farm truck or Asian? Let me. Let me. I don't have a problem up. with either one of them. Let me I really it. don't. Let me reword it. Farm truck or? <laughs> Asian? Both. No, you can't do that. I can't do that. No, that's one or the other. I like them both. I get along no, with both of them. I don't. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. They're I don't have here a f- before you in a prisoner of war camp. I don't have a f- their head. You get yeah. who, who am I going to pull the trigger on? Lives. I can't do that. Which one lives? I don't. Farm trucker Asian. Which one lives? Damn, both of them. Which one? Lives? I really don't have a. So they're, they're going to shoot you then? Yeah, just spin that son bitch around it's and you, eat it. Farm trucker Asian. Son of a bitch. Which one lives? You and who? He probably choose himself. He's such a nice fucking guy. He probably would have done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If Man, I, can, I, I really, really like both of them. I can't choose. Just, <laughs> just take me just, out. Just shoot me. I really, I can't pick one. God damn it! So I move can't. On. Farm God truck damn it. or Asian? <laughs> both. We're on nine. We can't. We Holy can't shit. get to nine. I right? know. You're just gonna Farm have to skip it. Both. Or Asian. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna get an answer out of that Farm one. I, I truly can't. Or Asian. <laughs> Holy shit. Farm truck or Asian? You gotta pick, bro. Damn it. Nobody's not ever picked before. You got to pick, bro. <sighs> they both do cool shit. I like them both. Okay. Okay. But Farm Trucker but Asian. Farm <laughs> it's not an and. It's an or. Oh, shit. Hey, we get that you like them both. We get that you you're a nice guy. One. Well, I can't. I, I, imagine there are, imagine there are po- two possums tearing up your fucking garden. Yeah, which possum's going to get possum? it? I really. Farm Trucker Asian. You can leave one of them. It had to be both. <laughs> I'd, I'd get in line and I'd put one bullet through I'd get in line and I'd put bullet through, one yeah, bullet through both of them you'd forget to put the bullet yeah. <laughs> you'd forget, the, the, oh, shit. You'd forget to put the bullet in the gun anyway <laughs> no the gun's always loaded so farm truck or Asian number Fuck, nine man. this is number fucking nine. crazy just say one god damn it I don't know no one cares that you're nice no one cares just say one farm truck or Asian who do you hmm. like Peer pressure is a motherfucker. I, it is. It's a bitch. Come on, man. I like them both. Well, I, him, we get you that you him, like them both. When you see him walking up, which one do you say hi to hey, first? Hey, I like them both, too. When you see him walking up, which one do you say hi to first? Well, they're not, not, they're not both just standing <laughs> there side by side at Son the same time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is going to piss him off here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. On the show, they do all the, the, the goofy stuff where they build the things. Who are they? Farm truck and Asian. All right. So which one do you say first? Farm truck. Okay, there we go. Farm truck. Finally. Jesus. God Christ. damn. That was hard, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> number eight. Uh, this one should be easy. Big tire or small tire? Big tire. Okay. <laughs> number seven. Grudge race or no prep? If you had your choice, if you're going to a race and you were going to go to a grudge they, race or a no prep? both. No, I would rather grudge race than no prep. Okay, cool. Because there's, oh, oh, I don't get to explain. I gotta explain. I can't. You wasted all your explaining on the grudge farm race. picking Asian thing. Grudge race, grudge race. Damn. Pick one to ride with them. Uh, fiberglass <laughs> or carbon fiber? Oh. Judging by your hood, Jesus. If money wasn't carbon fiber. Okay. Nitrous or turbo? Ooh. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, no, it's turbo. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shaved or hairy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shaved. <laughs> the farm truck and Asian was hard, but that one was easy. <laughs> 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 uh, I'll take shave, please. <laughs> uh, kill Asian and I'll take shave. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, this one should be easy. Small block or big block? Big block. Okay. Uh, Doc or Monza? Oh, fuck. I can't do that. Doc or Monza? <laughs> do, 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 We're going to end up fighting right here in this do, building. Do, do, I can't, I truly can't do that. Do, 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 They're both do, friends do, of mine. I can't do that. Yeah. I'd... 
<laughs> You're gonna get good. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, don't, get it. Uh, don't, don't, boom, boom. Mo- Doctor Monza. <laughs> okay, number one, Doctor Monza. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doctor Monza. I really can't answer that. Doctor Doctor Monza. Let me reword it. Monza or Doc? <laughs> Doc or Monza? Son of a bitch. Which one is that? <laughs> This whole scenario. Doc or Monza? You knew this was coming. You've listened to the podcast. You haven't done this in like the last five or six of them. Well, because we didn't have a new new guest. Hmm. Doc or Monza? Damn. Damn. What what if we change it up? Monza or Doc? No, what if what if we change the, the people on there? Chief or Sean? Oh, I can't do that either. God damn it. You gonna do two best friends or are you going to do a... <laughs> hey, there, there, there's four people there. Hey, I don't know. He was kind of talking shit on Jerry a minute ago. No, no, I heard no, no, no. I wasn't I talking shit. I just too. wanted to explain I it. That up too. I wasn't talking shit. I just wanted to explain it because it you got thrown out there. people that, on the radio that listen to us. Not that yeah. we had problems with the whole fuel so, injection uh, thing. So I wanted to clean that up. Quick question. Yeah, Dr. Monza. Dr. Monza. Shit. One more thing before you go. Dr. Yeah. Monza. This is like trying to... Yeah. Damn. <clears throat> I'll go with Monza. I met him first. There you go. Monza there you go. it is. There you go. There you go, Everybody Doc. Said that about I can't believe Doc's going to be upset. That. I'm going to call him when I leave here and explain <laughs> it. <laughs> go ahead, buddy. Just so you know, this is coming up. Hey, with everything that's going on here, this, t- this question is getting tougher by the minute. Street or track? Street. Boom. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it right here on the Chief and Sean Show. Dominator hates Doc. <laughs> <laughs> and and he he Asian. Holy he shit. Asian. And, he don't, <laughs> and he don't like hairy bitches. <laughs> 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 These are all facts, people. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing but the facts here on the Chief and Sean Show. Damn. Dominator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap. Yeah, we're gonna recap. Dominator hates Asian. He hates Doc, and he hates hairy bitches. Nothing. This one you thought you knew Dominator. Nothing worse than a really yeah. hairy bitch. We're gonna show you. <laughs> 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 it's even funnier to hear. Man, this, this is a good podcast. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Man, I'm um, glad we got you in. Shit. Yeah. Thank, hey, sorry, yeah. Man. Hang on, hang on. Before we go here, no, for, hang on. I, I wanted to ask you this the whole time. I didn't ask you. Why the fuck do you hate our podcast? I don't hate your podcast. Why do you hate our podcast? I do not hate your Why podcast. You you I'm glad you brought that up. No, I didn't. Yes, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't yes, hate the podcast. You hey, fucking share it. You hey, no, 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 no. I listened to every single one of them. If that we're going to be a true tree, okay. True tree, you fucking All right. Right. tree. Harry Here it is. Harry, Harry, bitch, true <laughs> you, you better <laughs> lean back in your chairs. Lean back. All right. So I was told that some of pictures and stuff of our cars were put on your pages, and you called Speech Society and made them take the shit off. And never that yours. pissed me that off. That has happened before. That has happened before. Bro, to be honest, it wasn't it, yours. Never yours. But it was okay. never yours. It was all the, the, the other guys from the other show. Okay, well, now that's completely different. Yeah, well, of course it is. Well, and, and maybe some of the guys from earlier seasons that aren't on our show anymore. I think you may have had them I'll take, say it. I think you who, may have had them take Andrade who? off of yours before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure I did. Okay, well, I get that. But so so we're on the same page. That made me mad because I wasn't told that it was from the other show. It was our no. stuff. No, it was so. Never, who, that, told, so who told true, you that? True, true, so true, who true, told true, you that? Docker Monza. Yeah. Who told you that? Docker Monza. No, it was it was actually someone from Speed Society. It was Charlie. No, no, I don't talk to Charlie much. Then it was Morgan. Or no, so, it was that one kid that doesn't like me. Morgan wouldn't do it. So anyway, what? so the Randy, Randy that doesn't so, like us. So so my Randy. point my. I said it to you because I'm not going to say something behind your back and not say it to you. Well, it was, I would have said that to you too if I had. A it was. Like it. it was. It was quite simply. You know, I took it as offensive. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't you know. You. So why didn't you never, say anything to me? I did. I told you when we were when we were filming that I said it because I said you never said that I had. M- your car taken no, off we, my page. No, I didn't say it was mine. Was, I didn't say it was mine. Curse words or something is what I heard one time. Huh. I heard it was something about the, all the cursing and all the nasty talk on our. Yeah, deal. that you just didn't, want, didn't to want to promote it. Oh, I never said that. Okay, <laughs> I no. heard that. No, I never fucking said that shit, man. 
No, we would never have your car not. Well, no, it it place. wasn't it wasn't that. It was put to me that it was ours, uh, our Facebook pages, and it kind of made me mad. So I was like, well, hell, why didn't you if call us and say something, well, it wasn't going to do any good. Why? I would have told you. Yeah, I said that, man. You know, and this is why. Or well, you know what, man? I would never say that. Agreed. Harry Bits Truth Tree going yeah, down right. But I, but I never. Yeah. Harry Bits Truth Tree. I wouldn't lie to you, man. <laughs> I mean, no, I know if that. I said something about you, I'll tell you. Yeah. I mean, no, he's a, I, he's I, a I, tell me fucking right now. ruthless, I, heartless bastard. He will tell you, I hey, promise. And I've went and I've told you both exactly what I've said about you. Really? What would you say? Yeah. You say? I said in the very beginning when we first started this, the second season, when the animosity shit started, I, when I was there it. was animosity? I don't remember it. Oh, yeah. Shit. Really? I never had any animosity. Do you, no, you didn't. Yeah, but those, I was number one. But, I was good at but I did. <laughs> no, no, no. No, I never I said either one of you did. So, so now there was no animosity. No, there was. No, if you think about it, in, in our top ten list, there was there was oh, yeah, some people always, that were always, always upset, gonna, right? There's always going to be a and, loser. And I told you yeah, both. There's always going to be those losers. <laughs> wow. You can't Holy all be shit. <laughs> you can't all be us, man. No, I made the comment that, that whether it was – whether it was – the Chief and Sean show, or whether if it was Doc and Dave, you got to be happy for those that succeed. You I can't, said that. you can't, you can't be upset or jealous of the fact that someone is successful. I prefer that someone out of this whole deal makes it really big and it never stops. There is a you in cunt. Don't y'all be jealous, of little cunts. I am. <laughs> I am not you. My wife no, hates that word, man. No, but there is a you in. <laughs> My wife hates that one. All right, man. Well, so yeah. So anyway, yeah. So no, we're, we're good, good though. We're good, hundred percent. Yeah, no. Yeah, we've hey, always been good. I've listened to every one of them. We're the talking. only three hey. that have ever been the Harry Bitch Truth Tree. So <laughs> <laughs> we got to be good, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we're good. I have, I have, yeah. All I right. have no problems with anything. Well, then get the fuck out of here before you confuse our listeners anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to explain more of the fuel injection. Oh God, no. No, we don't. How about next no. time? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have, we'll have a whole we'll segment. All right. Hey, okay. After this, there's going to be a lot of fucking questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you I'm, have I'm, questions for Dominator, go to his page. Yeah. I have fucking questions I of my own. I have a lot of questions. And I'm going to start a new pad, you know, just for the I'm, questions that I have. Did yeah, you really do this? Questions. Seriously? So I got some questions, but. We appreciate you coming, man. Absolutely. You know, long ass fucking haul in the fucking Beaver Express. <laughs> yeah. I should have so, drove that bitch down here. Especially with all that texting you got to do on the way here. Exactly. So, yeah. All right. Get the fuck out of here. All right, man. We'll uh, hear you when you leave. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're out of here. Hey, we'll see y'all next Tuesday. Peace. Tuesday. Tuesday. That's podcast Tuesday. Tuesday's podcast. We'll be every back next Tuesday. Every Tuesday that we're in the Every, every Tuesday. By Just, it. For the record, there's three your episodes. Calendar, that, your listen, calendar by it. If I tell you it's going to rain, get your motherfucking umbrella. Podcast <laughs> Tuesdays is going down. Podcast Tuesday. There's three episodes that are still there.